the fifth doctor, by the way. Hi, the to think of. welcome to uh, something to talk about. <laughs> that was Russ forgetting that I said, okay, I'm about to start. And uh, welcome to, uh, yeah, uh, the let's talk about ice and fire. And we're covering every single Dorner sigil and let's. Wow. Okay. You threw me so far off. Okay. Hi, <laughs> welcome to something to talk about the show where everything's made up. I thought you were looking for a video and then you were going to play a video before nope, you actually started. No, I already started, started it. Um, look, uh, My apologies. Everything's made up and the points don't matter. That's right. The points are like, um, I had something else too. Russ threw me just so many curveballs right away. I had a joke. <laughs> All right. Uh, you got to love live TV. Um, does anyone have a everything's made up and the points don't matter joke that they can improv? Well, so King George the Fifth Doctor intentionally killed him, which makes him the most recent English monarch intentionally killed by anybody. And the reason I was thinking of him was because he's uh, somebody in real life whose line went extinct. He had like collected all these titles throughout life, and then he he didn't. There were no consequences for what he did. He just died without a male heir. So Sounds great. Titles went we're going to be covering Dornish houses. <laughs> Thank you, Russ, um, for uh, King George history. Um, and uh, I want you guys to know. Um, yeah, I got nothing. I, I I literally I had all these things I was gonna say. Um, Can we say free... the points? Can we say yeah. the points? Are all everything's made up, just like Dornish law? There it's you go. Made <laughs> everything's made up, and the points don't matter, like the Dornish plot on the television show. Oh, you wanted an actual yeah, topical that too. joke. My <laughs> there bad. you go. Everything's made up, and the points that matter, like um, Valerian skin color on the television show. <laughs> it doesn't matter. They can be black. It's fine. Like, like okay. the like the women's court anywhere that Ruth Bolton is lord. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oof, that's a rough women's court. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, it's just three girls who don't say anything, and then one spy who will like spy on anyone who says anything, and that's the whole thing. That sounds awful. Um. All right. I uh. I'm. We're just gonna go through all um Dornish houses and just kind of. I think we normally do a guessing game. I think we'll do a guessing game. Uh, I will try to put up comments. Uh, anything, but a lot of times we get rolling and it's hard. So if you want to make sure a comment gets noticed, do a super chat or send me a uh, Venmo if you want the money to go straight to me and not to the YouTube at all. And um, I will. I will notice it. Uh, the uh, Venmo is in the description. And yeah, random internet guy, you're the only one who hasn't talked yet. How are you doing? Oh, doing, doing good. Just uh, like I said, just getting set up here. My my TV doesn't work that great. I use for a computer screen. So I was just trying to unplug and get it plugged back in. Here was I going to go. So, <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was not there, but I'm back. I'm, I'm back here. I like the guy who doesn't have a camera up as the one who's been working. It's like, I got the most stuff to do. It's like, what are you, you're hiding yourself. What are you setting up? Um, uh, how's it going, Christy? And um, yeah, should we just get moving? Sounds yeah. good. Uh, let's do it. Well. Let's let's cover some let's cover some Dornish houses. All right. Here's I I always fall in that like oh this one's really obvious right but I know that I'm really weird because I I I study sigils uh, a lot more than other Song of Ice and Fire fans and YouTubers so I think this one's a a big known one but we'll see. You know, I think I know the story behind this, but I don't know the name of the sigil. Uh, I, I want to say this this story behind this is because of the failure of the blessed, right? And like walking, uh, throw the snakes. Mm, and get them back maybe. Mm, uh, we might gosh. be on to something. Yeah, and I, I, I can't for the life of me remember the name of the house, though. Uh, I think it's like the second or third character I ever covered in my lore series is from this house. Uh, they will be saying it in the comments. So, uh, is, it, is if, it Dalt? Is it House Dalt? It is not House Dalt. House Dalt. Oh, okay. You'll uh, know House yeah. Dalt when you see it yeah. because uh, it is TV Preston show. Jacobs' most famous one. Well, the TV show also had that scene where it was all Dornish sigils that Tyrion was like Naming. pointing out, right? Yeah. yeah. So, um, this one, your first hint is uh, it is House Blank. But there's a famous one from the past whose first name is the name. So it's like House Stark of Stark. Okay. Okay. House so it's Ted not, Ted. It's not Ironwood. It's it not, is not uh, Ironwood. Nope. Hmm. Or uh, Yarnwood. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> everything's got to be spelled. My right. first thought was just that it was like the personal sigil of uh, Oberyn. 
Nope. Uh, somebody did get it in the comments already. I'm just going to start guessing Dornish houses and just be like, House Cargyle. How about that? Is it House Cargyle? It's not House Cargyle. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you ready? Let, let's ha hear it. House Will. Oh, shit. Sure. Okay. W Y L, House Will. And there was a, I did a video oh, for House Will of Will because, you know, why not? <laughs> He was he was a complete he was like the uh, the Roos Bolton of his day, uh, or worse, he was just a complete monster. He was a dude who showed up to a wedding and and sold all the women into slavery and castrated all the men or something like that. Like um, nasty guy. Uh, I believe is the one who chopped off uh, what's his name's hand, uh, or he's Baratheon's hand. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. And then that's why he couldn't be hand of the king anymore because he felt like the irony was too strong. <laughs> uh, he's like, I would not be called the, the king stump. <laughs> yeah. You gotta, gotta love that early Dorn stuff. The the conquest of Dorn stuff is so interesting to me. It is, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think I'm just for an excuse to talk about the letter that Aegon gets. I'm covering the Princess of Dorne, I can't remember her name off the top of her head, but it's literally the next script I'm writing, where uh, she's the one who shows up with the letter, and then it, we don't know what's in it, and then he's like, all right, I'll stop trying to conquer Dorne, geez, like, the letter is like, he flies by himself the Dragonstone and just has, like, a sulk for a day and then flies back, like, it's, like, super intense, and we don't know what's yeah. in it. Just for an, a reason, I'm talking about that character, just so I can talk about the letter pretty much. Yeah, that is one of those mysteries where I'm like, every answer doesn't quite get there for me. Like, it feels like there's actually just not really a great answer that I've come across yet. Me neither. Yeah. So, uh, like, uh, possibly, uh, Visenya, not Visenya, um, Rhaenyra, Rhaenys, Rhaenys. Yeah. It was Rainey's that one? Yeah, Rainey's is still alive or something like that. But then why wouldn't she have then came back if he never attacked, you know, or I don't no, know. No, like I, I, I actually kind of liked that one because I thought that she was being held hostage against the king's good behavior. Like the Dornish oh. were like, look, you're never going to get her back, but we won't torture her to yeah, death we won't torture if, her if, anymore. You, um, if you behave. And he I was, you know, tracks. he was very famously pretty committed to his sister wives, you know. Yeah, uh, yeah weird, 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 weird dynamic, but at least he was allegedly pretty faithful. So, uh, you know, oh, yeah. so the, the argument would go that, you know, um, he wouldn't want her harmed. And, and I thought that was, that's pretty dark, to be quite honest. Like, that's, that's um, super dark. That's quite a dark thing. Like, to know that, that your spouse, sibling is uh, forever yeah. being held somewhere and you hope that she's not being abused. And the only way that you can semi guarantee this is to not invade Dorne. That's a, that's a tough one, right? It's pretty dark. Um, yeah, I think that's probably the only one that slightly works for me. I, I did actually, now that I think back about it, I was like trying to remember what exactly the theory was because I saw a good Reddit post from like, this is probably one of the better sounding ones. If I yeah. remember correctly, what they said was they think that she was like captured by the bannermen of the castle that she fell on top of and they like tortured her and killed her or like were torturing her and about to kill her. And then the Martells found out and they put an end to the torture and they sent her body back to Dragonstone and were like, hey, we're really sorry. And we very severely punished the people who did this. And then he was like, oh, OK, okay. so they're chill. They're chill. Yeah. I won't be mean to them anymore because they like killed the people who did this. But then also he had to go to Dragonstone to like have her funeral and then come back. But I to receive, yeah to receive the body and give her a proper cremation. Yeah, that's, <sighs> that, that, that's an interesting one. You know, I, I also thought of you know if 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 you know even if she was killed instantly in the crash, like you know no one's there to witness it in theory except Dornish people who are technically mm -hmm. probably loyal to the Martells. Yeah, um, and, and and you if you could even make up a story, you could even tell the king that she's alive even if you don't have her body you know. like yeah, you could yeah, just body, you could tell the king that you know yeah and and maybe that maybe it was a, a a a trick rather like or some sort of like um a coercion you know that's based on based on them duping the king you know also the the castle that shot her down is the hellholt is as house uller 
And, it, you know, they always say like 50% of allers are mad and the other 50% are worse. And it's <laughs> like, like, that's the worst house to get shot down here. <laughs> like, I wonder what freaking happened to her, you know? It's like deliverance. Yeah, yeah pretty much. <laughs> like yeah, exactly. Shot yeah, down it's, like, yeah, it's, 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 it's like, yeah, it's like getting shot down somewhere where, like, right next to where the saw guy lives. And you're like, oh no. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> Is that the, the barbecue place from Texas Chainsaw Massacre? Oh, what, what was the one where the author, where, where the author crashes and the lady takes him in and she just keeps breaking his Oh, legs. misery. Yeah. Misery. Yeah. It's like yeah. You, you crash next to the misery lady and she's just like, oh, let, me, let me take you to House Uller really quick. No, no, don't. Yeah, easily, <laughs> easily top 10 um Stephen Good. King books. I love misery. It, it used to be one of my like winter reads. Um does, does somebody got a dog yelling? Right. Yeah, that's upstairs. I okay. don't know. I didn't know if you guys could hear that. I, <laughs> no, I, I <laughs> sure, hopefully sure, sure. hopefully they will get the dog to be quiet soon. <laughs> no, it's all good. Um no we, one's in control. We're having really bad noise problems here. The neighbors next door are, like trying to set up like their backyard for a wedding and like they were running tractors till like 10:30 last oh, night. It, it, it was wild. Like I, I that's what it destroyed my recording schedule because the past like several days the only time oh. that I had time they've been like running tractors right next to my window. <laughs> um it's sad dog. <laughs> <laughs> all right um inside you there are two wolves one of the one is one of them is barking at michael talks about stuff's house right now <laughs> <laughs> all right um yeah we really don't have a lot to choose from so let's go with uh i'm just gonna pick one um this is another hard one i'll do an easy one next is this from Skyreach or whatever the one is that with um, the, the... Maybe who, who, the Fowlers is the Fowlers. It is the Fowlers. There oh you go. yeah, I, I I got I got a little Darnish in there. R.I.G. got. I I, I I like I like the Darnish chapters, so I I tend to remember some of the houses. Not you all. You got a them, point. All right. Sure. The points don't matter, but you just got one, man. <laughs> um, of course, the Fowlers are famous for uh, one of the Sand Snakes. I want to say Lady Nim gets waked up and she's in bed with the Fowler twins, and. I've heard like other YouTubers that's not what, what what you always hear about the Fowlers for, right? Yeah, but also they're female. <laughs> the Fowler twins are girls, and there's in no way associated like they no one hints at it being dirty. Like you know, like they the girls share beds a lot in this society. Like it's something like they a lot of them all sleep together, and it's just like something that they bring up. But I've heard YouTubers just not get that the Fowler twins are chicks. So they just made broad assumptions uh, of just like Lady I, Nim I, just getting freaking I, I, I just assumed golden gated <laughs> because I, I just assumed it was still raunchy because it was like Lady Nim and like the the sand snakes are kind of known for their raunchiness. So like you know, I, um, I think it's just a, yeah. I think people just I figured, want I, 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 think I, I, so, figured, I think we just want it to be. I figured it was Lady Nim being like I was a bed with the Fowler twins, like you know, a bed's like a, a yeah. leading. You know? I was doing stuff with them, you know. I, <laughs> I was I was a bed just like how Tyreek's a horse. I was a bed underneath the Fowler twins. I was a oh gosh, that's that's terrifying. They were yeah. all a bed, like amalgamized together. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, there we go. There One of them stood a bed with the Fowler twins. They had mutated together. We turned into a bed. It was only it was only momentary though. Like when yeah. they turned into a sofa in uh, the Hitchhiker's Guide. In Hitchhiker's Galaxy. Guide. Yeah. yeah, it was improbable. Yeah, the infinite improbability drive. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> See, I bring I, I, don't, I don't always bring Rust around for his Song of Ice and Fire nerdness. It's his broad everything nerdness because <laughs> our Venn diagram is actually really overlapping. Yeah. That's how Taco says autism. Yeah, yeah. We, our, we got a touch of the tism, but we're touched in the same spot. <laughs> um, one of the best uh, um, held comments I've ever gotten uh held, held by youtube i went you know i look like once a week and somebody just went bro you autistic or something <laughs> <laughs> and I, the first I time somebody like, asked me in. that oh my <laughs> god i was seeing this girl who had an autistic sister and she asked me if i was autistic and i got so offended but that was the first time someone had said ted like mentioned that i might be and i was like 27 at the time <laughs> And then I was like, oh, shit. She would know better than anybody. 
No, and I wanted to accept his comment, but I must have clicked the wrong thing. But I wanted to be like, probably, <laughs> <laughs> you know, balls in the air. You know, it's a jump ball. You know, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I yeah, I I got one comment recently, like on one of my theories. They're like, "Yo, your tism is perfectly calibrated for figuring out these books." Oh my god, <laughs> I'm just yeah, like, totally. I guess um, you you need Golden Gated. Ex- explain to watch that season of the league i got it from the league because the character doesn't know what a golden gate is and he's he's oh i assumed you were making i thought you were making a lannister variation of eiffel tower no no but yeah <laughs> that's that's kind of what it was but no go uh, i won't i won't say i'll let you assume what it is because it's actually but the yeah. guy just keeps like oh you know, you want to do a Golden Gate tonight? And she's like, I guess, if that's what you're in the mood for. And then finally, uh, he's he, she's like, all right, if you want. And then she leaves and comes back with Rafi, who's played with by, uh, what's his name? Um, uh, Manzikas, Jason Manzukis, But it's like mm. his first role. And then she's like, why is the dude here? She's like, well, you want me to be the Golden Gate? And it's like, oh. Uh. <laughs> and then she leaves. And then Rafi's like, all right, I'll just take over. Bye. Or he leaves. Yeah. Anyways, go watch the league, and I, I just pretty much told you what it was. And uh, the Fallout Twins wouldn't be able to Golden Gate that way, unless they had um, some type of medieval um, strapping equipment. Anyways, uh, <laughs> Back let's to move. When, well, I was just going to say, when you when you said many people make the assumption that they're boys, it's just like, well, it is George R. R. Martin's world, and it's <laughs> like, he's set up like 90% of it, and this is the one time it doesn't happen that way and he's like what? why would you guys assume that yeah i know totally um george and also i think that george just gets extra frisky whenever he writes a dorn chapter <laughs> yeah. he's like all right headed down the door yeah. what that's, does that's, why, that's, like? why it's taken, that, that's why it's taken so long you know the book series is having dorn increasingly involved in the plot george is increasingly losing his libido as he ages yeah. and the book is coming out slower it totally makes sense of course just all right, here's a here's a long one, but a long a long shot. Here's an evil Knievel reference, but it's like uh, ten things I hate about you and the teachers or the principals writing like smut, and then a girl uh, Julia Styles. Yeah, not Julia Styles. Oh my god, whatever her name is, uh, comes in and insults her, and then she's like, "Hmm, two messins, perfect," and then like adds it into the smut. It's George, like, honey. How's another way to explain Arya Martel's areolas? I already used to make it dark. What else? <laughs> that chapter makes me so uncomfortable because I hate getting turned on by George. Like, because I know it's a 70 year old man. It's not, <laughs> she's not real. Like, Arya Martel's not a real person. I'm just like, ooh, yeah. And I'm like, no, no, George, get out of my head. Get out of my head. <laughs> oh my God. Stop listening. <laughs> Or I'm like listening to it at work, and the next chapter is Soil Night. I'm like skipping that. <laughs> I'll listen to that when I get home. <laughs> I'm gonna get all excited you get, you, here. You, you, you get home, you flip on the Barry White, and you flip on Soil <laughs> yeah. Night at the same time, and you start unzipping your pants. <laughs> Wait, whoa, yeah, no, yeah. Pour out the, <laughs> pour out the, uh, the Zinfandel, and <laughs> get some. Chat yeah. says it's called the Miranese Knot. The Miranese Knot. Ah, oh, uh, yes. We really right. should come up with How about it. the Miranis Pyramid. We could go there too. The Mir- uh, oh, yeah, yeah. The, Mir- the Great Pyramid. Yeah. Are Miranis and these pyramids the three sided or four sided? I think uh, they're four sided. <laughs> I don't know if we actually get that explanation. I, I'm trying to remember if they describe them. Legitimately, yeah, now I'm, I'm, I'm trying to remember. I think we just assume they're four sided. Because I remember in uh, one of the mummy movies, somebody like talks about the three sides of the pyramid, and I'm like, Egyptian pyramids all have four sides. Yeah, four like... sides. Uh, yeah, no. Um, I was trying to think, like, what three-side pyramid do I even know that exists? Uh, four-sided dice. It's the only one <laughs> I know about. I always call them caltrops because they're always pointy up. <laughs> if you played enough D&D and step on a four-sided dice, you know what I'm talking about. Oh, I know. Yeah, I, I, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. They're, 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 <laughs> I, pretty, uh, they're pretty savage on the barefoot. Oh, Worse absolutely. than a Lego, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, they're mm-hmm. just I mean, like, a point. Like, I, I, I have one that's legit made of metal, and so it's mm-hmm. like, yeah, like I would, I would never want to step on that particular <laughs> I had a friend who up. casted all of his... D, uh, his whole d20 set it was two of each dice all out of lead and we didn't let him do it anymore and only because it was just so loud 
Mr. Like, all right, roll damage. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. And we're like, oh my god, <laughs> you're not allowed. I used to own a D6 uh, that I, I had uh, gotten from a place. Um, I can't remember the exact story, but I, I'd gotten it, acquired it somehow. And this thing was probably about, about maybe like eight inches or 10 inches by like 10 inches, like, like 10 inches. Like it's a pretty large cube and it was made of solid steel. So like, like, it, like, like, like you could roll for D6 damage with this and literally kill a person. It was like, it was, it was just brutal. <laughs> you could knock a door down, like with this D6. <laughs> you did, you did five damage and three damage to 10 next yeah. to you. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was, it, it was literally, I believe it used to have been a doorstop or something. Cause like, oh it, my it, God. It I, I can't it's, remember how I got a hold of it. It's just a brick. Like it's, yeah, just, yeah, it's it, not it, even it a D6. It was like an enormous steel dice that someone had oh made. Oh my God. And, painted red and everything and had little like all the little dice holes were painted white and stuff it looked just like a dice that you get out of like a monopoly set or something wow all right Fucking let's terrible. do it. let's do a bigger one here um uh, this is also one of my it's got to be my the like top three names of houses i'm only saying type three because i'm sure there's other ones that are up there but i mean it might be one of my favorite names of a house and one of my favorite sigils Oh, damn. Um, this is one also that I like fucking should know, but I can't. Caesar's Palace. Caesar's Palace. The Pirate King. Uh, Edward King. Teach. These are, these are the ones that they, they have the they have a King's King's Grave. Um <laughs> is there is, is Oh no 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 I clicked the wrong thing, Mike. You don't uh, know. I was trying to click the Man Woody, up. Man Woody, I oh, saw it. Oh, oh, it. Yeah, I was yeah. trying to click that's just a round cover, isn't it? Man Woody. I was like, why did he highlight that? And then you no. freaked out, and I was like, oh, it's the answer. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to click the one above it. Man Woody of Kingsgrave. That's the. Yeah. That's the I, I can't not hear Slinky Dog from Toy Story say, Man Woody. <laughs> I don't know why, but that's how I've always read. Man, Woody! <laughs> just, oh, I've always read it. I knew we were going Toy Story. I did not predict that direction. <laughs> That's a good know. one. Oh, man, if you're not going to Slinky Dog quotes, what are we even doing here? <laughs> what are we? What's the goal? Um, also, there's a character in this main series named Dick on Man Woody. If that, <laughs> yeah. That doesn't prove that these are one of the best books ever written in fiction. And I don't know what. Come on, guys. George. Yeah. Dick on Man Woody and what, five characters named after Sesame Street? Uh, Simultaneously, uh, we get both of those. Yeah. I mean, if Harry Potter can give us long bottom, <laughs> then we can get some Dick on Man Woody. Yeah, if Harry Potter can give us long bottom, then George can give us Dick on Man Woody. Good. Dick on Man Woody. <laughs> If he doesn't have like that's, the most that's... gruff, awesome accent, like Dick on yeah. Man Woody has to be played by Clint Eastwood. I that's that's like almost as good as my fake name. If I don't want someone to know who I am, I tell them that my name is Richard Hangslow. <laughs> 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 that's pretty good. Oh uh, yeah, Jim Varney. Yeah, the voice of Slicky Dog. We're going deep today. Um, mm. <clears throat> yeah, not naughty, naughty. Yeah. Yeah, you screwed that up, Mike. <laughs> I love Mikey. I always guess right, but I need to... <laughs> maybe I should just like uh, be really careful about my clicking. I should zoom or scroll down so the chat won't move on me. Um so who's our next uh who's our next door in here? All right. Well, Mr. Stay on Target. Um I was curious at this point. I I'm I'm I, This I'm is actually do you want to see a video of of how good we normally do? I actually have a clip here for you. This is normally us staying on track here. That's, <laughs> that's, 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 that's about how it normally goes. All right, um another top sigil. Oh, um uh, house big chicken. No, it's a cockatrice. <laughs> it's not house cockatrice, but it is a house snake and um, cock. Is, is this Cock House Cargyle? Is, is House this Cargyle? Isn't, this is not House Cargyle. Is this okay. Uller? This is. Is this Uller? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The twin. The twin keeps. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna take you to the twins. <laughs> oh my God! Wait, that, how many times does like Blackwelder phrase Squire get called in? <laughs> hey, Frank. We're going to the twins. Oh my god, leave me out of your sex of hate, dude. Wait, so would this be a house that didn't like the house that had a black snake for a sigil, I assume? <laughs> yeah, maybe. 
This is another about, name okay, that all right, all right. Mike, Mikey Boy is guessing, guessing again. What about Gargolin? House Gargolin? Uh, you're not allowed to read the chat if you want to guess. Because <laughs> Mike's always going to get oh, it. I yeah. thought I made that. Random, stay out if you want to guess. If you don't want to guess, keep in the chat. But if you want to. I um, House Big Chicken. <laughs> I uh, I do remember because I remember this sigil from when we were making words for wordless yes. houses, and yep. I couldn't remember. But yeah, gargling the because it was hard for the, us not to say these nuts, yes. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, gargling these that, nuts. Yeah. Did we go? What yeah. did we end up going with? It could have been these nuts, as far as it, I remember. Yeah, or something about a cockatrice. I yeah. don't remember though. I can't. I, yeah, I can't remember anymore. Um, I'm sure. Yeah, it wasn't. I, I, I think that's the joke that George R. R. Martin was making. He's it's like, "How it's gargling this cockatrice?" You know, like yeah, this yeah. big red cock, the <laughs> trees. Yep. Yeah. Um, why he does, he does, he does Absolutely love penis jokes. Like he he is a man who really appreciates a penis joke. Well, the, yeah. if I learned anything from newer Jackass movies, the older you get, the more you find just dick and balls funny. Because they like early jackass didn't have a lot. Now the new ones, it's like, all right, how can we get a dick or balls in here? Like it's like <laughs> all their jokes now. When now is the last? Serious. When is the last time a jackass movie came out? Not I, too long it, ago. Last was there year? a recent one? Okay, yeah, forever. Okay, that's yeah, right. There are there are new jackass movies. I forget about that. Sometimes. I I don't. I love them. <laughs> I rewatch them like every couple of weeks, man. <laughs> there was a period. There was a period in my young life where like jackass was just like the funniest possible thing i could ever find like on tv it's, when it would come on i'd just be like oh my god I've, that period for me is called always <laughs> <laughs> man you know i've just contemplated just making jackass content like 10 favorite uh sketches you know 10 10 best pranks 10 best stunts like I'm i was just a nitro circus junkie oh wow that's that takes me back nitro circus um, no, I've always loved Jackass and TKY, and uh, you might see me wearing my, I have two different Poopies shirt. Poopies is a newer cast member who I found out that uh, they paid him, like, guild, like, guild lowest when they filmed the last movie, um, because no one knew who he was, so he got paid, like, very minimal, and then because of COVID, it took forever to finish, and then took forever to come out. And by the time the movie came out, he was homeless. And Ooh. I found out about that. And then I went on his website and bought a shirt like immediately. And then I found out, well, my one $15 shirt didn't help much. <laughs> and like the <laughs> next year, he just like got clean from like a big meth addiction. And um, I bought another shirt. Nice. So I have two poopy shirts. And I love poopies. I hope he's still clean. Um his best sketch, it made it on to 4.5. We'll do another sigil when I'm done with this. But it's just called All Show Me. I don't know how to make it into the main movie because it's only like 12 seconds. Like they could have squeezed it in. But it's him standing on like a six foot um, like standing ladder. Um, and he's standing on the top of the ladder and he just has a sledgehammer. And he just goes, I'm poopies and I'll show me. And then he just hits the ladder out from under him and he just lands on his face. <laughs> It's, really, it's really good. That is that is brutal. Yeah, and I got a shirt that is like three parts of him standing, him hitting the ladder, and him hitting the bottom. Oh my um, god! Yeah, it's great. No, look up poopies. I'll show me later. Uh, you're welcome. All right, let's uh, let's piss off piss off uh, Preston Jacobs. Okay, everyone, everyone ready? All right, cool. Lemons. This is House Doll. Right? Dolts of yeah. Lemonwood. Yeah, Dolts of Lemonwood. This is one it. from the show. I not that... remember the name of this house, but I remember it being described in the show. Yeah. <laughs> is that is that the one that Preston Jacobs won't shut up about? Yep. <laughs> Jackets and CKY are still my jam, but definitely were my jam. Yeah, for sure. Um ridiculous. I, I, saw, oh my God. I saw CKY, the band. That's that that's them, right? CKY is the band, yeah. Yes, but uh yeah, and, but and they we... have, it has Bam Margera's brother in it, right? Yes, is the bassist, Jess Margera. Yeah, I, I saw them play with a Vin Sevenfold when I was 15 years old. Wow. I thought CKY How was old? the magazine. Nope, I, Big Brother I thought it was, was the magazine. band. Yeah, I thought it was the band. I could have sworn CKY, it CKY. It is CKY is the band and the Jack in um Bam Margera's tapes. Um, that were coming out at the same time as Big Brother's tapes, and then combining them, you get the first season of Jackass, Got and it. then throw Steve-O in there for good measure. Um, he was brought in. He, he 
his footage in season one is some of the only original footage for season one. They only filmed just a tad original stuff. Um, yeah, and season one's still so good, but those jackass tapes, uh, a lot of it's like, oh, it was a different time. You know, like, oh, we, I don't think I'm allowed to laugh at that anymore. Like, there's some of those jokes. Like, you know, the, I can't even say some of them. But there, there are still some where it's like, I don't care how high budget the new jackasses is. Like, somebody just, like, like who's it? Brandon D. Kamalo just walks in on Ryan Dunn sleeping and just has, like, ass wipe and just, like, stamps it on his face. And he wakes up with poo on his face. And then Dunn is freaking out and Bam's filming it. And he's like, I got to get back at him. I got to wait until he falls asleep and get back at him. And Bam's <laughs> like, I got like some old jelly. You can like dump on him. And he's like, jelly? I got shit on my face. And you're talking to me about jelly? I'm going to drop a brick on his head. <laughs> and it just that exchange is just too good, man. <laughs> I did wonder too, like what modern day jackass could get away with, but I mean, as long as you can still throw a poop paper towel on someone's uh, or a toilet paper on someone while they're asleep, I suppose you can do a jackass movie. Yeah. No, but... that's that's old stuff. The new stuff is a okay. lot less. Yeah, that's old. That that's okay. old. You're actually they were never allowed to put messing with anyone who's asleep on TV, and they still can't really do it in the movies. Um, okay. there's like a fine line, but it's because they're not consenting because they're asleep. So yeah, yeah. especially at least on TV, maybe in the new movies, but on TV, that's why you didn't see a lot of like people getting messed with while they were sleeping. And like, like they this, realized if you taught kids to fuck with people when they were asleep, they were going to murder every single parent in America on accident <laughs> with a fire extinguisher or something. Yeah. Me, me and my, <laughs> me and my uh, late friend Bob, who grew up on every, CKY. Every, every seven-year-old who sees a Jackass movie gets a sledgehammer and sneaks into mom and dad. <laughs> we did do that. We messed with each other. It wouldn't be safe to fall asleep in the house. Like We, we grew up on yeah. CKY like we i still i still have a a, a a old disc of just like loaded stuff that he loaded up with of some of our old videos and i'll watch them like every once in a while we were like 16 17 but his dad would just pass out on the couch in the middle of the night so so we just snuck in and put the camera on top of the tv and we were just watching him from the computer in the other room and his dad would just like would wake up and like flip a couple channels and pass back out that's hilarious. So we go in, shut the TV off, shut all the lights off so that it flips to night so the camera can see, but no one else can. And my buddy Bob whips the trumpet out and he just <laughs> starts blaring it like a foot from his dad's head. And his dad wakes up, panics, and punches, nails oh the trumpet, and oh just God. chips oh God. Bob's tooth. Ooh. <laughs> <Just> <laughs> Because he doesn't uh, know what he's punching. Right, yeah. The rest of the video is just him trying to get the trumpet, and then, oh, well, see you later. And then uh, <laughs> him trying to get the camera out of my hand is the rest of the clip. I'm like, I'm killing you guys. I, I have two <laughs> pretty stuff. good uh, childhood pranks on people who were asleep that you can replicate if you if you so choose in the audience. Uh, one of them, like, all of my cousins were, like, hanging out together at uh, Family Cabin. And the youngest one, who was like seven or whatever at the time, fell asleep first. And all the parents oh, no. were asleep. And we're like, all right, we're staying up all night. We're going to drink soda. We're going to eat rest. candy. We're going to do all this stuff. And all of the rappers, we're going to surround this kid who fell asleep first. who's like <laughs> seven years old. And then we, we surrounded him. So he had like 25 candy bar wrappers and like three oh, cans man. of soda on the couch next to him. Just like tipped over and scattered everywhere. And then we melted half of a little bit of a chocolate bar and like rubbed it on his face so that he had chocolate on his face. <laughs> what? And they woke him up first because they found him first before they came all the way downstairs and found the rest of us. And they're like, um, what did you what, do last what night? Did you not like and he looks around at all of this stuff and he's just like, I don't even remember doing this. I, I must oh, have, man. but I don't remember doing it. Uh, and then the other one was, you know, those like, tattoos that you could get back in the day at the dollar store that were like you put the water on the back yeah yeah like tattoos. Tattoo. they still have them you just don't okay. have a, a child so you don't i know. just yeah <laughs> <laughs> you don't have a kid, no. i i put a yeah, mave always has like one or two she loves them 
what you do is you take the like a wet rag and you wet it so it's like perfectly wet and like ready to just come off and then you just poke it to someone's forehead and then lift it off real quick and they'll have a temp tattoo on their face and they um, won't know it because they don't see their own face for a so while damn. and we would yeah that's always we funny. would cover people in duct tape and then put <laughs> super glue under one of the duct tapes <laughs> oh, uh, God. and that's why one of my friends had to get a nipple reattached <laughs> no. and, yeah because we put we put right. super glue nipple over yeah no we were brutal <laughs> and he tore it off and now one nipple is hairy and the other one isn't because <laughs> he had to get it lasered back up um i don't know i don't think andy dick was in any of those i think he mostly messed with tom green um and uh what else I don't remember them ever working with Jerky Boys, um, but yeah. All right, let's let's keep going. This was fun. I do love the Jerky Boys, though. Um, here, let's do a really hard one. Dane. Um, oh no! Uh, How'd you I, get it? <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I was, I was gonna say how, I was gonna say House River Run, but you know that's <laughs> <laughs> House Famously, River Run yes. from Skyrim. Yeah. Um, I oh, never mind. This one doesn't want me to name it. That's fine. I'll just I'll just delete it. Um, I I filmed my first uh, Elder Scrolls lore today, so that's gonna come out in like four or five weeks. So, Michael, if you want to start doing Elder Scrolls stuff at the same time I do, we'll build okay, it all I up got, together. I've got a few weeks. Yeah. I, yeah. uh, I told myself I would get back and I'd start making a Song of Ice and Fire videos when I felt like the Winds of Winter was a little bit closer. And that was like four years ago. So this year, it is technically a little bit closer than it was four years ago. So I'll, I'll start making Elder Scrolls content when the next game is a little bit closer. Both okay. of these have similarly long wait times, though, unfortunately. Oh, my God. Yeah, I, I, really quick. I, I I like what Dave said. How Sword Star? I think we should just start <laughs> doing this. We're just gonna start describing what the sigils like. It's like the like, like the phonetical spelling of sigils. We're just gonna how say yeah. what like. Sword Star. <laughs> how Sword Star. <laughs> yeah, how Starry Sword. Sounds like an American uh, defense yeah, how, company. Yeah, how Star <laughs> this is oh, our yeah. new sigils way of describing them. You know? All right. Well, this is how stop. Yeah, yeah I was gonna say, how's big hand? You know, her, or, yeah, her house high five. The orange says slow down. <laughs> Glover's not in Dorn. No, Glover's not in Dorn. We, yeah, we did Glover. You were in last show. You did Glover. We did Glover together. Glover's you loved the, it. Glover's got the mailed fist. I always remember that because I like that's house Glover. Glover. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I, I don't know. Just, it's just it's simple. It's simple. Um, so no famous characters from this house. Um, a bastard from this house is one of my favorite, Damon Sand. Oh. What's the uh, wiki description of this sigil? I don't know. Let me wiki it first. <laughs> I don't just have that open. Oh, man. I, I, got, I, got, I got nothing. I, I do not remember what house Damon Sand hails from. Yeah. House Yield. Either. There we go. We got house hole up. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Oh, that's pretty funny. Um, you're still in the comments too, you jerk. <laughs> like literally, <laughs> asking that to me. Um, that's I, I, mean, I, I like I like to see the comments. I want to see what people. I know, but they're gonna get, they're gonna give you the answer. My no, they're, just, they're, they're they're just saying funny things like house bitch. Yeah, yeah, but they normally <laughs> give the answer. This was just too hard. Um, all right, it says um, is a manage a major Dornish house. God's grace seat is uh, where they're from. Oh, yeah. God's grace it's near the uh, uh, the God's confluence grace. of of uh, scourge and faith in the green blood. Um, House Martell was once their vassal back in the day. Uh, it was founded by an Andal adventurer during the coming of the Andals, along with House Jordan, Martell, Corgyll, Santagar, other and Vase. So you know it's none of those. Mm. Yeah, I, I I don't. I got nothing. This one's not Ironwood, is it? <laughs> no, I, I, Ironwood's the big gate. Yeah. Okay. Remember that for later. Uh, this one's really hard. Um, Mike said it a minute ago. Uh, spelled it wrong now. It's Alarian. Okay. Alarian. Or Alarian? El, yeah, however you want to say it, Alarian. I never Alarian? know how to say that. I've done yeah, I've yeah, done videos on them, and I never know how to say them. How's, how's it spelled? House word. It's house. It's house word. 
Um, house words. Well, oh, oh, you're saying it's house word. Yeah, it's, it's uh, house word. You know? <laughs> their actual words are really cool. No foe may pass. Oh, so it's so basically the, uh, so we're going to call them House Gandalf from now on. Yep, I was, I was, we we're waiting for the Gandalf joke. <laughs> I was right. thinking Little John from Robin Hood when we first met oh, him. That's, that's pretty good. House Little John. All right. <laughs> This is House Corgal, right? Yep, it is. I, I just Corpion want you King. to stop asking if things are House Corgal. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to give you House Corgal. It's, it's a jackal. It's a jackal. It's a jackal. It's a jackal. Yes. It's a jackal. Yeah. Me and Michael both went there. Yeah. It's a jackal. I wasn't right the first 30 times. <laughs> House Pinchy Pokey. Yeah, Pinchy yeah. Pinchy Pokey. My, um, my YouTube algorithm, like, recently just started feeding me, like, 30-second videos of hilarious old family guy clips because uh, I kept clicking on them. I'm just like, oh, yeah, this fucking bit. <laughs> and then I watch it, and it's like, here's 12 more. Oh, like, all man. right, I'll, I'll watch more of these, fine. I, I blame Rust mostly, but I get nothing but wrestling clips now because I, like... <laughs> Wanted to just start watching Undertaker's new podcast, and next thing you know, I'm I'm watching clips from the Attitude Era and freaking um, what's his name? I can't remember the freaking nature. Uh, Scott uh, Steiner. Scott Steiner trying to do math. Yeah. <laughs> a whole short of like, normally you got fifty percent chance of winning, but there's three of us, which gives you a thirty third point third chance. But I'm a freaking nature, so I got seventy five, and that gives them two thirty third point thirds. It's like, okay. <laughs> have you guys been fed uh, any clips from this past weekend's SNL yet? No. No. Oh, it's yeah. probably the best episode in seasons, and this season's been good. Uh, Ryan Gosling hosted. Um, they redid that sketch with um, Kate McKinnon with the alien abduction. It's it's really good. Nice. And uh, Caitlin oh. Clark shows up on uh, Weekend Update. Yeah. Taco yeah, I, I, I and... can't remember the last time I saw an SNL sketch, to be honest. It's been a long time. Uh, Taco froze and then disappeared, so I hope we're still here. I hope we're still live. We're... Uh, well, let me we'll hit the play button. The all right, all right. Uh, Michael or Rusty, why don't you hold yeah, up something? Yeah, we are. Something? Yeah, what, we what are, are you guys still hold? alive. I'm holding up two fingers. Okay, there we go. What What is that house sigil right there? The peace sign. What? <laughs> who, who, who's sigil? <laughs> house, house. I thought you were girl. doing that for like verification that the stream was still live. <laughs> no, no, no. I was just, I was just, like, I was just fucking That's around. The, the so it depends on whether that uh, sigil was from before or after the Vietnam War. Because prior to the Vietnam War, this meant victory, and afterwards it meant peace. All right, so um, I had to just like get the cat away. Just kept unplugging the internet to the laptop, and gotcha. and and when that happens, you have to restart everything. So I had to leave and come back. So I'm back. How how did the stream stay up? Aren't you hosting? Um, no, barely not. <laughs> I think Stream I guess, Labs, but I can I leave. Think, I think Streamlabs yeah. is forgiving in case the host crashes; it keeps it rolling. That's yeah, no, that's Streamyards. Good to know. Yeah, Streamlabs <laughs> is uh, something else. Um, but yeah, no, it's a. Uh, I think technically now anyone like, I don't know for some reason I can just bounce. I know that, um, which is really nice because I don't want I've been you using to have to rely TikTok on... Live Studio lately. Oh yeah, S streaming video games. Nice. That's really uh, 10 years younger than you are of you. <laughs> All of my followers are on TikTok. So. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, I have been I have been at 99 and a half thousand followers for a year now. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it is so All the annoying. Same old neighbor of yours. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he likes it. I'm a bunch of little girls, but I'm one old man. I did bring you up, Rust, when I mentioned, like, when the first, I think it was the first time we did a stream together, I mentioned you to one of my friends who is on TikTok, but, like, doesn't watch any of this stuff. She's like, oh, I've seen his TikToks before. I'm like, yeah, what? yeah. <laughs> what? So, in the wild, I found a Rust Shackleton uh, TikTok viewer, That's at awesome. least. I don't know if she, I don't know if I, she I've follows had... or not. Oddly, like early on, and this has not been recent, but early on, I just had a few videos that went like three and a half and four million views, like four or five videos that just did that. Uh, 
I've had nothing. I've never been able to replicate that success. But I just got I just got <laughs> Rust um, sent me an apology. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's okay. I wasn't looking. Um, you didn't need to do that. It's all fine. Um, I good. should be a I professional, anyway. and I should be able to to hit curveballs. Um, yeah, I've been doing these streams for a long time. I should be able to like survive. Like, all right, I'm about to start. So King George, <laughs> oh <my> God, <laughs> right when it goes live. I, I need to learn to, to ask questions when I'm on somebody else's stream is what I need to do. Yeah. Usually just hang out and look cool in the corner. That's normally your job. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of times Russ is down here like, I'm the best looking one here. No one's going to say <laughs> And Russ is over over there solving uh, solving mysteries with Woody Harrelson <laughs> in, in Louisiana. <laughs> and uh, random internet guy is... Uh, like a He's talking about you, Michael, employee. In case you couldn't tell, yeah, uh, uh, okay. you're a disgruntled um, patron of Bob's Burgers. <laughs> I thought you were going to say like a disgruntled postal worker. <laughs> oh no, no there's no, a no. there's a small po like postal place like a place where you can sell like you know send things, but it's like smaller here. And uh, it's just called Going Postal, and I was like, I think that's an <laughs> awful name. <laughs> like, you that, just... that is, yeah, that is that is a that is a a funny but very inappropriate it's very, joke. Yeah, it's, it's just a real business. Office. They've been, been going on for like fifteen years, man. They sell stuff for, or send stuff for people, but it's like <laughs> Going Postal. That means that means killing people. Like <laughs> that means shooting people. Uh, I can't. Yeah, I that, can't that's like a that's like a your postal your post office building should be on a TV show. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what the Family Guy Cohog Postal Service should be called, yeah, not a real life right, one. Yeah. It's like, yeah, like it, the Cheers, but it's a post office. Going postal is, is, is filmed in front of a live studio audience. Hey, it's Norm selling stuff like every day. That or that or it would be an Adult Swim show. Like they they would oh, they would yeah. have the going postal and be about working at the post office. You know, oh like, man, I would watch that. that. <laughs> Were they using re like recycled Hanna Barbera footage, like oh, uh, yeah. like Sea Lab twenty twenty one? I was just <laughs> yeah. gonna say uh, the next time the next time Daniel Tosh makes the exact same show with different set of characters, it'll be set at a post office called Going Postal. Because oh, didn't he didn't he get his show canceled where it was like at a park rangers and then he made like the exact same show with the uh, exact I, same characters. Somewhere I don't else. follow Daniel Tosh enough. I know that he just owned Comedy Central. For <laughs> like yeah. how Rob Diedrich just owned at MTV for 15 years. Um, yeah, uh, Brickleberry was one of them. I don't remember yeah. what the other one was, but he made I, like I never the them. same show as Brickleberry after Brickleberry got canceled. It was just set in a different <laughs> setting with like <laughs> all funny. the same characters. Yeah, I tried funny. watching Brickleberry a few times, never got into it. I didn't get it, into it. Either. I think it did get canceled for. A I, reason, I saw yeah. like an episode, and it did not seem particularly funny, and so I just didn't yeah. watch anymore. But no, I, I, that's funny that he tried to remake right. it again. I got. I think he said on his show that it was a cash grab. Yeah. <laughs> like he was sense. just like they offered me that much money. You think I'm going to turn it down? I remember like, there's a, a Burt Kreischer story of when Burt was like before Burt made it, and he's still trying to make it as a stand up, and it's like. His maybe both of his kids were born, but at least his oldest one, and they're living in like a one bedroom apartment. And Tosh like comes over to his house and he has to like ask his wife, Hey, can I go out and can I have like a little bit of money? And like she's like, You know, we don't have a lot of money. And Tosh is just like sitting there and they're trying to like budget how he can get like 50 bucks to go out. And Tosh <laughs> is like, I will give you a hundred dollars if we can stop talking about how broke you guys are. <laughs> He's like, I am really uncomfortable. Can I just give you a hundred dollars and take you out? <laughs> uh. um, all right. I got a really weird one for you. That looks like maybe um, a heavenly body <laughs> and a weapon of some sort. A sun spear, if you will. Okay, I was thinking so more like a Pluto point. javelin. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 was, I was just going to say this is house yellow stick, but you know. So yeah. go with sun spear. That's your first clue. Okay. So it, it's, is it Martell? It's not. It's not Nymeris it's not. Martell, but it's Martell. This is the original Martell sigil. 
Oh, this really? is Nymeris Martell after Nymeria oh, made ah, him. So Because she classically Martell's... had grief with the sun. Yeah, she hates the sun. <laughs> um, yep. So uh, now okay, all classic, the Martells yeah. we know, like Ariane, Oberyn, Doran, their name is actually Nymeris Martell. That's their last name. Everyone just says Martell. But the first Martells looked like this, and after Nymeria married into it, they changed it to this. Nymeria's Martell. She comes in, she's just like, you guys have absolutely no style. I'm going to spice this up a little bit. Yeah, pretty much. Makes we get it, you cooler. fight with a spear. No wonder why you're not a powerful house. She's like, Sun Spear is your castle, and this is what you came up with, really? Like, you could do a little bit better, guys. <laughs> yeah, here's the sun. Stop it. Um, man, we were really down to just like a few already. Um, Why don't you um, cut them in half to kind of thin them out? To show us, show us half a sigil and then show us the other half. <laughs> yeah. I know, I know that doesn't sound like a lot of work, but for somebody who doesn't do it, <laughs> like, you want me to put them into? A thing or do what I do when I have to reuse like footage that. for a, a forty-minute or not a forty-minute video, but for a video, you just mirror the video, the footage, and it looks like all new footage. Oh, there you go. Uh, they do it in documentaries us, like Shark Attack shit all the time. Yeah, You could make us guess them again afterwards and we'll prove that we have instantly <laughs> forgotten things that happened five minutes ago. We're like we should do that. <laughs> we should definitely do that. Oh, man. We, you, you I will have forgotten in, most of them. I can promise you that. You'll see it a lot <laughs> in actual Jaws movies where the later ones show the same actual real shark swimming. And they'll mm. just show it in like four different, like <laughs> this way, this way, slow motion, <laughs> like. Uh, but it's just the same footage of, of a normal yeah, shark. But because you can't see how big it is because it's in the ocean, you can say this ten foot sharks the thirty foot jaws. Why not? You can't tell. Um, what about this one? This one's really cool. The nerds. The nerd yeah, house. <laughs> house nerd. Yeah, who is this one? I, I'm, I'm forgetting. This level. one has a really cool story. I feel like I've never seen this sigil before. Like, most of them, I'm like, oh, yeah, I've seen that, but I don't remember what it is. But, like, I don't know that I've, like, even seen this. Checker What's the story? green with a golden uh, feather. I can't tell you the story. Why not? Until you get it. Well, because I'm going to say don't, just it don't it's the named names. after, and then I'll say the name. Um, well, away, you know the uh, name, uh, probably. All right, this is named after one of George's friends, a fellow oh. author. Oh. Yeah, and if I say, I think you guys are just such nerds that if I say the name of the books that he wrote, here, I really need to play this. What do you think we are, nerds? <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> and uh, I think that if I even tell Was you it what, the Wheel of Time? Yes. Okay, House Jordan? It's or Jordan. House Robert? Jordan. Okay. House Jordan. There you go. Oh. House Jordan. House Jordan. Gotcha. Yeah. I mean, Mike in the comments got it. That makes sense. That's one of my other nerd know. fantasy series that I've contemplated making content about. Nerd. I can't believe you're such a nerd. So I'm gonna do Fallout and Elder Scrolls lore. <laughs> what do you guys think? I'm covering a Morrowind character. Have you guys watched Fallout yet? Yeah, it's I have fantastic, it man. Oh. It's so good. I it's do so not good. like shows like that, and I love that show. It's so it's good. good. Okay, I have to check it out. Um, I've heard some good things. Okay, Mister also knows Fallout lore. Um, the Wait, world. Who's that? Uh, Michael. Well, I'm assuming okay. a lot of you guys, you know. <laughs> but the world, the show, one hundred, one hundred percent nails it. Like that's yes. what I was like most worried. Mm -hmm. Like, don't try to do your own thing, and they don't. It. Yeah. Like. The you'll see Nuka Cola bottles. You'll see like if somebody uses a camera, it's the cameras from it. Like it looks. A pit like, boy looks like a pit boy. It, yes, one one million percent. Everything looks like you're playing the game, and That's um, just... and then I was nervous about like the vault is like oh this looks like a normal vault and nothing's weird. I'm like that's gonna get me mad, and then you find out it's definitely weird and everything's weird and all the vaults are weird. I'm like I'm glad they didn't change that. Because I was like, if yeah. there's no experiment, I am walking out. <laughs> I'm not watching this. But yeah, it's really cool. That's good. That's good. No, I've only played. Penrose. 
I've only played Fallout New Vegas, but that game was just really, really good. I so. uh, help me decide uh, which New Vegas character I should cover first, because I have two I was gonna cover. Um, one is uh, is it is it angry or mad? Here, let me find it. But it's a uh, um, it's a tongueless super mutant who wanders around uh, and. Oh my god, sorry. I should have looked before I asked you. Mean some bitch. Okay. Um, who's from Fallout New Vegas? Or Fisto. <laughs> also from Fallout New Vegas. So I'm if I have to add a suggestion, uh, is it Jason Bright, the guy who the guy who like launches his little crew of mutants to Oh yeah, that's he's a, a good, good one. one to cover. Um, that's right. one. Of, that's one of my favorite little quest areas. Is it, it, that whole? That I'll, whole area. I'll, I'll type Jason, but I don't think it is. I want to say it's Jonathan, but yeah, I, I can't remember. It's something bright. Yeah, because he's a glowing one. Which right? Isn't he the yeah. glowing one? He's a he's a sentient yep. glowing one, which is like so cool. And, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. And I've heard like apparently there's I and I haven't played like all of. Uh, New Vegas, like I haven't like super deep dive played it. Oh, I did. But but uh, I I think is there a time where like his followers show up at the end of the game? So like it's implied that they survive. I never did launch. that. You can find the rocket, but I never did okay. it. And when I brought it up to somebody, they were like, "No, you can't." But I I saw it on the wiki that you can. I've but... heard that you can. Nick, is this I... you saying that yeah. you want me to cover Raul? Um, I don't want to do. I don't want to cover any um. Any companions because they're just too covered, <laughs> like you know, like play the game, like you know, like it's yeah. the it, it's one of those like how I don't want to cover POV characters for talking about some fire. If I if I'm doing Fallout and Elder Scrolls, I don't want to follow any Diedrich. I don't want to cover any Diedrich quests or Diedrichs like Diedrich princes, um, and or kings or jarls, but or anything from the main quest line. But everything else is a go. Um, Taco's, and then for Fallout, yeah. Taco's realm on YouTube is the if you search for this minor character, you're going to find his video because it's going to be one of like three about this character. I try to do one of solid one. bit. Like, I try to be one of bit. one when I yeah, like when people are like, yeah, when people are like, hey man, you really need the cover. You know, it's somebody who like fits what I'm doing. So it's like, yeah, uh, Dark Star never makes it into the show. Not a POV character, only in like one chapter. Yeah, yeah I could probably cover Dark Star. Like he's there's no reason for me yeah. not to. The only reason is everyone has covered Dark Star. I don't right. need to. <laughs> like, yeah. like I'm not gonna teach you anything about Gerald Dane. You know all you know everything I know, you know. Like, but yeah. I can I maybe I could teach you about Aldre Dart D Dalt, Andre Dalt, you know, like maybe I could teach you about Nimble Dick Crab, aka best character. <laughs> Um, he's my favorite dick. I know that much. Yeah. Who's your favorite dick? <laughs> dick on man, Woody? <laughs> um, one in my bedside table. Yeah. It's a dick on <laughs> yeah. right your bedside table. <laughs> All right. Here's a dragon eating their own tail. That's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cannibalism. The worst kind of cannibalism. <laughs> Uh, okay. So is this going to be, like, blood related to the Targaryens? Um, no. It is not. Definitely not. Yeah, I okay. can't remember the name of this house, but definitely not. Are they from ancient Valyria in any way? No, I don't think so. Are they dragon lords of any sort? Are you t are you talking about the, the, um, the vault that's all full of one guy? It's, um... um they, they eat dinner here in Gary, one of the, uh, the Arianne chapters. In one of the Arianne chapters, they eat dinner here, and there's a girl who has, like, prophetic dreams, but I... Yeah, what? I can't, what are you... Can't, really? What? Yeah, 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 so... It's House... So, yeah, it's House of Boros. Or Ar Ar yeah. I can't even say. So they're 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 eating dinner there in one of the Arian chapters, and there's this girl who's like, I... who starts talking about her dreams, and she's like, "In my dreams, uh, the dragons came, and everywhere the dragons danced, people died." Oh my um, god! Yeah, how I, have I not it, made a video about that? Yeah, it, it's a very important prophecy 
in most people's opinions. I, I tend to agree. I tend to agree that sure. it probably is pretty important. It's pretty focal, like in, in the chapter. It's kind of like, like you know, it's, it seems like it's something that he's trying to make you notice. Yeah. Um, oh, I know why I don't know about it. It's it's a woods of it's a winds of winter sample chapter. Yeah, yeah. It, uh, it, that's it, why it, it's, it's less in, in my head. head. I have not read any of those yet. Yeah, I've read, read them. them once once there's, there's, some, there's some absolute bangers. I actually do a reading of the Forsaken chapter on my channel. Well, yeah, the, Forsaken the, is like a top so three yeah. chapter ever, and it's a is it, yeah. yeah. Watch him totally gut it. Like it's a it's right, a preview I'm chapter. Worried. You can change it all you want. Like, I think he'll keep the Forsaken. Forsaken. I think he'll keep that one because he it is has so to know the impact yeah. it made. Like yeah. it blew everyone away. Like Forsaken's what makes Euron Greyjoy what he is. Yeah. Like he's he's only maybe that guy. Like we don't know if he's right. Euron Greyjoy until we read Forsaken. We're like, holy crap, he is Euron. <laughs> like, no, he is that guy. <laughs> The Forsaken is the reason we know the show absolutely screwed over Euron. Like, without it, it could be like, well, maybe he ends up being a complete poser. But with wait, the Forsaken, wait, I thought, like, I thought "finger in the bum" is a direct quote from that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, we don't know that he doesn't like fingers in the bum. We well, haven't. We haven't heard in the him. books. <laughs> in the books, if Euron were to taunt Jamie Lannister, you would know that Euron were, was the more dangerous person in that exchange. In the show, yeah. it was up in the air. Yeah, it might have even been. Mean, in, it might have even been see, in Jamie's favor. Oh my God! This guy's threatening Jamie. Finger in the bum. Oh, all right. I'm on Jamie's side. <laughs> Never mind. In the show, because right, as like, soon as he said that, I was man? thinking like Jamie could probably kill this guy right now if he wanted to. Yeah, even with. But in the books, he would. Hand. You know, that that sort of thing wouldn't be permitted to happen. Yeah. No. Uh, April, May. Yeah. It's a bunch of Garys, and they are on my list. I asked my. I asked my buddy who who's a big um, Fallout guy, and I'm like, two characters you want on, and he said one I already have on, and then he's like, and then all the Garys. I'm like, oh yeah, the Garys, like yeah, yeah. Um, we are running low already. Holy crap! Um, you could you could make a uh, you I'm could like trying to derail video. us more. Okay. Yeah, I, in the <laughs> in the spirit of derailing us, you can make a follow up video about that guy. I'm just thinking of random characters. Who's that guy who like gate guards the place where you get all the laser weapons, oh, right outside oh. the strip? Uh, he's right. an interesting like minor ass character that like probably no one's made a video it's about. Just been so long since I played New Vegas that only I, like yeah. like ten characters stick out to me still. Yeah, it's um, it's been a minute for me too. Yeah, I didn't know about mean some bitch. I had to get reminded, but it looks like this. he doesn't have a name. It's just legionary main gate guard. I'm thinking no, the guy outside in, the energy weapons store. Like, in, I, oh, I don't um, know anything about in Fallout, far side. So. Is it far side? Yeah, What's the far name? Side. Of, yeah, yes, in far side. Far side energy store, whatever it's called, and then the guy who's guarding that. As he yeah. takes care of that, we'll look at this. Did we get the last one? Even? Oh Although, no, you never did. <laughs> That's oh, a free did. side, free side. Yeah, somebody did. Free didn't side. They? Yeah. Uh, we no R.I.G. knew lots of things about them, and then we got oh, distracted just, by the he, Forsaken. He distracted me. Um, it's amazing that he knows that much about the house without knowing its name, because I I didn't know that either. Like I didn't know any of that. Um, I <laughs> I'm glad uh, Nick is helping out April, but I totally told April it was Gary. Like, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, to, to me, it's a really important piece of foreshadowing thing. Like, he's like, and I, yeah. I, a, lot of people, a lot of people have put that forward too. Uh, so I, like, I, it's a, it's how I, 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 I don't, I don't think I'm un like, like, I'm definitely not unique in thinking that. I've heard several, you know, people be like, well, I mean, a cool. character who literally says the dragons are all going to dance and everyone's going to die. It's like, yeah. I wonder if that's pathetic. Yeah, and and then and then her mom, her mom tells her she's like eating too many sweet cakes, and that's why she's having bad dreams. <laughs> she's like, you eat too many sweet cakes, that's why you have bad dreams. And it's like basically, it, it, it's classic. Like they're showing you, like she's definitely not having. It, 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 the setup is very obvious. Where it's Jeez, like, you're you dripping LSD on her on her sweet cakes. <laughs> I know, yeah, but you're definitely supposed to take it seriously, though, when you hear. Her. Um, or at least, or at least take. You know, you're at least supposed to pay attention. It's, it's here, right? House Toland. Toland. So Toland, I think House they either like won a big fight against the Targaryens during one of the conquests or killed 
somebody I can't remember off the top of my head, but I they mean, did the fact the I got fact it open. Them, I can find it right now. The fact that one of them is getting dragon dreams is a little suspicious. If they're not, you know, I mean, I guess anyone can get prophetic okay. dreams. He sent out a... Uh, yeah, because it's basically it's green dream. She's having green right. dreams. Basically. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so the Tullans successfully resisted the dragons during uh, Aegon's conquest during the First Darnish War. The Lord Tullan at the time sent out his champion to face Aegon. After Aegon slew the man, he learned that the man was Lord Tullan's mad fool and that Lord Tullan himself escaped... So he got he kept, he made the dragon chase his tail. That's that nice. got it. Yeah, that kind of makes you wonder. Kind of makes you wonder if Lord Tullin was having dragon dreams, having prophetic. You know. Yeah, maybe. I Green just dragon dreams, that. if you will. Ah, yeah. I just feel bad for that uh, fool. It's like I know, I'm gonna, I, know, I know, right? What a, I'm what, gonna what send out our fool. I'd be like, bro, I only play a fool. Can you not kill me? <laughs> Yeah. What, a mean, yeah, yeah, what, what a mean thing to do to your fool. You're like, all right, man, you got to go out there and just, you know, chop them up. Pretend you're me. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Can I get a bonus first? <laughs> it's like, uh, I was going to say, it's like Ramsey with the first reek being like, hey, you got to oh, yeah. dress up as me right now and run out there. Go. <laughs> right. They won't think they won't respect your authority unless you're wearing my ring. I'm yeah. not going to feel bad about what happened to that reek. Because <laughs> no, that no, reek no, is no. awful. But yeah, like, no, no, it, is, it was a dirty trick, but... Um, just just a hard sell to get, oh, we're... <laughs> get your buddy to dress up as you would go to a certain death. Yeah, you don't feel bad for reek. You feel bad for the world that Ramsey <laughs> survived. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, it's like in The Wire when the dude's getting chased by a bunch of, like, dudes who want to kick his butt, and he's like, hey, man... Uh, you know, like five dollars for this. He like gives this. Hey, can I? You want to wear my jacket? And he's like, yeah, sure, okay. <laughs> and then he like runs, and then like there he is. He's like, no, and just like, <laughs> not worth the jacket, dude. He just gets like stopped. Like, not my jacket. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> like, I made five bucks and got that guy's butt kicked. <laughs> All right, let's talk about this house. How still a baby? This is a very messed up George R. R. Martin y version of the stork. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was gonna say this is how babies get delivered in uh in this universe. Yeah. Oh, no, this yeah. is how the opposite delivered how they get dropped from altitude, so you better be ready for the delivery with some uh <laughs> something to catch it. This is the baby return service. This is not the delivery. <laughs> um, <laughs> Benedict Blank, I'm not gonna say their name, um uh, was uh, defeated in Amiria's war, and he was one of the six kings that were sent to the wall. Um, man, where's the, I thought there was something about, oh, maybe I have to just click this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This dude, Benedict Blank, worshipped a dark god and was said to have the power to turn himself into a vulture of enormous size. So I think that's what the sigil is. Um, Benedict so he, Birdman. He admits yes. to stealing babies, apparently, then. Cause, Benedict uh, the Baby Snatcher. <laughs> so you know ever. You know how everyone thinks I'm a big vulture? For our sigil, it should yeah. be a big vulture stealing babies. By the way, like, do you have a baby? <laughs> like, if I was rumored to turn into, like, a deer, I wouldn't, like, make my sigil like a deer goring a baby with its antlers or something, you know? Like, that Jesus. seems, like, a bit messed up. We're getting to the, like, there's no way we're going to get um... to keep monetizing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we can get away for, <laughs> get away with saying goring a baby more than once. So why did I say that? <laughs> <laughs> right, so, so I think who, an hour an hour in YouTube doesn't we should, care. I don't we should think be they know. Let's do it like South Park, all right? Throw up a counter. Let's see how many times we can say goring a baby. Uh, no. <laughs> Three so far. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> well, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. What if we said skewering a baby is that oh right? my god yep no. skewering a fetus <laughs> hey, yo, yeah. stop <laughs> oh my god well, no 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 but this 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 is well, a that... baby this, 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 this yeah is yeah a, this yeah is the, the we're, we're, the we're not talking okay. about the fetus here this this vulture, <laughs> clearly, this vulture is clearly consuming a human child that has yeah. been born already it is yeah this is not <laughs> this is not a roby <laughs> way yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, <laughs> he's not goring it though that is not something that you do with horns so we were we were riffing we were riffing it's oh still, I, it, I mean, the that, baby that, doesn't that look pleased. Is, uh, that baby <laughs> is crying out. Can I just, should I just say it? Should I just tell you guys? <laughs> Somebody said it right here. Let's 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 have the comments tell you. There, what, house condor? black something. Black house black, not. 
Yeah, that's, black oh, mud, that, black that's right. Yeah, that's correct. Black mud. <laughs> How's it, borrow, right, baby? How's black mud? <laughs> <laughs> borrow, baby. <laughs> yeah, he's, he'll return it. He, he's oh obviously good. Slightly return used. It. <laughs> yeah. It's not ancient history. The current no, that was it was a pope ago. The last pope before the pope we got now is Benedict. Um, yeah, and I don't think only... he drank babies. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> okay. In a side, he did something really bad, though. You don't get like told you have Hitler, to step either. down as pope. To, yeah. Oh, you're saying that there he had to have done something to get he did something down. that they really yeah. Don't if you're a pope for under out. ten years, you did something. It had weird. been like a thousand years since a pope had stepped down before he died, and like you only make him do that if it's something really bad. Yeah. And I'm gonna guess it had to do with shuffling around priests who did things that we won't bring up. Oh, well, have we? <laughs> I'd rather say go to baby than talk about this. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. We, we've, we're already on the line of demonetization. Yeah. <laughs> A line that we all live on. Yes. Well, to get us, to get us remonetized. What's another schedule? <laughs> we only got three left, you bastards. Um, we, we're, there's no way we're gonna do this for three hours. We're gonna need a lot of tangents. Yeah. Yeah. Um. And they're you guys all... ever play Far Cry? Yeah. No, uh, they're all equally. Oh, the I... Far Cry series is so good. All right, there's one that you guys said earlier, pretty much just like nailed earlier, and then there's two that I think are going to be a little harder. Um, this I think will be the hardest out of all of them. Ah, uh, 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 spotted. How several I cats? It is <la> not. <laughs> Do you, is this not Spotted Silva's house? It's not Spotted Silva's house. No, whose house? Because there's this, no man? spots on these cats. Oh, true. Sure, yeah. Are, oh are these God. shadow cats? Maybe. And then you got Craster. <laughs> <laughs> the the problem with Craster <laughs> is I wanted to <laughs> do a... a top ten worst dads video, and, and I was like. It. Yeah, and then my wife is like, Craster. I'm like, oh, damn it. <laughs> no, like, wait, 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 you, it doesn't you make do, it you, you gotta do the top ten worst dads, and then right when you get to like right when you get to like when you think it's gonna be number one and everyone's expecting Craster, you have to be like Ned Stark, the yeah. worst father <laughs> of and yeah. his children crap. to get his head cut off. Yeah, peace Gilly, of crap. Gilly is so nicely well adjusted, hanging out with Sam, and where is Bran eating people in a cave? Who's yeah. the better dad? Whoa. If, oh yeah, no, honestly, if, if, if we're if we're judging ned by like you know like how much of your children contributed to like mental warging powers that might destroy the world like i don't know man worst dad <laughs> oh my god you're not saying that out loud um how's man kitty <laughs> well, mini kitty how's mini, mini kitties kitty? oh many many kitty mini kitty i like man kitty because of man woody man yeah. woody and man kitty <laughs> um how's um, pizza cat how's black cat <laughs> What would, what is the dance that they're doing? The um, uh, um, Capoeira? It's Thriller. Oh, oh yeah, they're yeah. The Thriller, yes. The Thriller Cats. Yes. They're How's doing thriller the Thriller cats. Dance. There we go. How's okay. Thriller yeah. Cats? Yeah, our, 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 our best guess is House Thriller Cats. What's the... <laughs> do, we, do we got any more? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm not ready for you guys to... I, you know what? I'm House, not giving you any more. How's that? I won't do it. House Thrill Panther. House Thriller Cat is... Like, we got to do a rename the house one day. Yeah. Though. No, one yeah. of the one of the things today could have been it was in the poll is us drawing sigils for houses that don't have them, and I think I was just gonna keep like oh, PowerPoint man. open, and I was gonna just give myself ten blank ones, and then we we're <laughs> just gonna do our best, and I think we're just doing like ten would be enough. Yeah. But yeah. Um. Somebody did. We could do like earlier. a game of Pictionary where we have to draw the house sigil and everybody else has to guess what house we're drawing. <laughs> no, I don't think I would go that hard, far, but <laughs> yeah. I uh, only because every time. <laughs> man. <laughs> oh my god! All right, man, Woody, man, pussy. <laughs> you know that house can't ever marry because then they'd be the Omni pussy. I'm going home. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> Oh my god. Join our houses will be the most powerful. <laughs> um yeah, I think Mike said it a while ago. If you guys are ready, how's Taco? Yeah, there you go. 
Sorry, I was typing on a coffee box. Um, all right, I'll just tell you guys. Uh, it is House Vaith. Oh, I was Vaith. scrolling up to see oh, if I could wow. find Vaith. them. I could set it. Yeah. House Vaith. That what only gives do? us... Anything interesting? Let's find out. Because I've <laughs> heard that name, but only like... Re- like, I don't remember anything they've done, you know? Uh, They're just like one of those... You know, one of those Dornish houses. Uh, they, during the conquest. Get... Um, oh, wait, there's three left. Because we didn't do the one yet. Um, but found a <laughs> castle abandoned. Oh, yeah, just like, you know, Dornish conquest stuff. Then they they're just the brought knee, up in case. They bend the knee and, yeah. They're brought up in case George thinks we're, like, able to remember all the characters. He's got to throw in another, another house just to make it a little harder. I think I deleted a house thinking I was deleting a different house. And that's why... Because we never did... We haven't done this one. Have we? Hellholt. Uh, Oler. Yeah, but what's the house? Oler. Oler. Yeah. But we haven't done it yet, right? I deleted no, this on No, we accident. hadn't done that. Yeah, we hadn't we done, done that one. Oler yet, no. Oh, because I, I left and had to come back. I had so, guessed it several times. Stream, but... StreamYards deleted a bunch of my stuff because I left and came back. Uh, let me check really quick. I think we have, I think that's all. I think that's the only one. Um, yeah, yeah. All right. We're down to just two. And as we've already said, one of them, somebody already completely described correctly. And the other one is Spotted Silva's house. (laughs) (laughs) So they're going to be chosen really quick. Yeah, I think off screen they hung out with the others or Vaith, one of those. I know we missed all of Duncan Egg's Dornish. That was in between two of the books. And we never got to see Duncan Egg and Dorn, which is really lame, by the way. Um we'll George. See some stuff in flashbacks or something, yeah. Yeah, we get a little bit, but um all right, yeah, let's George, just come on. One more book, George. I mean it's it's mm-hmm. not like you're struggling right. to get any this, books out. This right here is definitely oh, how Santagar. Nope. <laughs> okay. No, no, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is House Oler, right? No, no. We 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 know who this. Is. <laughs> well, somebody say it, even though we, we all know, know who this is. is. This this is Gatehouse Amy. Yes, this is Gatehouse Amy. <laughs> no, oh my is, god! This, this, this is Ironwood. This is Ironwood. We, we, if we, Gatehouse we, Amy isn't in your top three, like <laughs> women that you want to hang out with, I I. I'm a very sex positive person and yeah. uh, like gatehouse Amy just being like, all right, man, the re- more of the merrier. Yeah. <laughs> like, come on. You know, one stable guy, three stable guys. My dad's going to get mad, you know, and for a penny and for a pound. <laughs> My dad's going to get mad one way or another. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> like, you know, no matter what, we're going to get in trouble. Might as well get all three. Uh, in for a penny, in for a pounding has to be <laughs> in for a penny, in for a pounding. <laughs> oh, oh my god! No, we all. I don't know anyone who doesn't stand Gatehouse Amy. Um, I uh, yeah. If Gatehouse Amy, <laughs> yeah, if she has no fans, I am dead. I mean, she's a fan. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm interested in see how. Do if we get an Aegon's Conquest show, I would love, I would love to see that. I'm also a lot of the the Dorn stuff. I would be the most interested in. Um, I got a question for y'all. Uh, where do you think, without trying to do major spoilers, try to avoid like major spoilers, but where do you think um, H- House of Dragons gonna end? Do you think we're gonna see the Lysini Spring, or do you think like right after the war, no aftermath? Done. Like, you know, the king right afterwards, I'm going to say it, Aegon the Third gets crowned, and then it's like, psh, like, we don't do as Hopefully his they, team. hopefully we get as much as we have book material and that's nothing a, else. That's like a big old chapter. That's the Lysini Spring. That's like two seasons left. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, I, you, I honestly, I I, honestly I'm just saying, that. ideally, it would be that much and then nothing else. I don't know what we're going to get. I think that D&D probably have decent pull over at HBO and can probably get all the seasons out of them. I hope yeah, they don't get D&D extra seasons out of them. D&D has nothing to do with this, so D&D's gone. Yeah? 
Yeah, they have nothing. Down there. Yeah, they're they're they have nothing. If they were there. still here, people would be. Very I wouldn't be. Wa I wouldn't watch House, House of the Dragon. Dragon. Yeah, and I don't want to watch. They the have no problem. problem when they're adapting material. It's when they don't have anything to adapt. Really, because they didn't actually, adapt the last two books. I, Russ. I, yeah, I, I, I agree with Rusty here, right? So, like, you got that. You got that writer who's not D and D, who's in charge, like in quotations, he's Conno, in charge right? of writing House of the Dragon, right? Yeah. Uh, but he's better I think, right yeah now. i think in an, i think in another secret hotel room somewhere they have D D and they have somehow gotten they're, mushroom they've somehow making, gotten mushroom from the books and they've i know you're the real world you're saying insane those, three guys, stuff. those three guys are together and they're they're writing half the episodes and that every time anything goofy happens in house of the dragon it's not the writer's room it's the mushroom so <laughs> I know you're DMV, just like you're saying some crazy DMV stuff. They, they, I can't they, take three, it they three D printed a real mushroom into our world, and those guys are all—they're all three of them. They're writing parts <laughs> of House of the Dragon. So the really oh, that, they, they, they use the Tron mushroom. technology. Yeah, yeah. exactly. They, they, okay. They, 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 HBO's got that. And they used a computer to animate a fucking grapefruit in the real world. Yeah, you know, you know, they did it. They 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 Troned mushroom into reality. That, and this is the with, best thing. Like. They put him with D and D in a hotel room with a bunch of beer, and those guys are writing episode pieces. You know? I like I, that they phoned in the last two seasons yeah. so they can hurry up and go write Star Wars, and then because they sucked, <laughs> Disney was like, "Nah, we're gonna get real writers." Yeah, Disney's like, "Star, we've done enough damage to Star Wars's Ooh. brand by uh, the first trilogy that we tried to put out. We can't afford to double we the damage by we, we, by we having you guys come in here now." Damage. So, so Gatehouse Amy Woods' words are gold. Gate. <laughs> no? right. The three sided pyramid. There, that's up for you, Russ. <laughs> uh, it's metaphorical. You know, but, the more the more people you add, them like you know, the more likely there's like somebody you, you wish wasn't there. Like, all right, man, we're gonna have like a, a, a three sided pyramid. It's like, oh man, Rust is here. Dang it! Now I gotta look at him the whole time. Ugh. <laughs> You know that you're just one of the stable boys that like pissed off the other two. And it's like, why? Why did Amy invite Fred? <laughs> Fred owes us five bucks, dude. Fred's the worst. Now we're gonna look at his rotten teeth. <laughs> dude, cover time. that mole on your nose. Yeah, dude. We're gonna bang Gatehouse Amy. Can you not stare at me the whole time? <laughs> what does Fred make eye contact? <laughs> Stop. All right, now we're demonetized. I was just, I was just going to say, now we're, now we're <laughs> now definitely, we're definitely demonetized. demonetized. They don't know what a three-sided pyramid is. Yeah, I don't think that no, was a thing until now. <laughs> I don't think that was ever called <laughs> until now. <laughs> there was a time period where I was uh, plowing my way through Tinder, and uh, <laughs> I had a. Uh, I had a couple that I was doing stuff with, and oh, we had some no, definite no. ground rules just to avoid these awkward situations. Um, I was like, yes, I'll do it, but this and this and this and this and this. And no eye contact? <laughs> that was one of them, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no winking. He's not allowed all, to look at me. Ever. He's not allowed to talk to me. <laughs> well, all right, let's break this conversation. We all know that this was Ironwood. <laughs> Yeah, see, I'm, I'm I'm the I'm the exact opposite. I'm like, we have to talk about the news the whole time. You know, it's kind of <laughs> nothing, nothing, no, 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 I'm serious, I'm serious. Nothing but sports, and only the manly ones. <laughs> if 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 it had been like a threesome, then maybe oh God, that would that be one a... thing. But we're talking, we're talking right. football. We don't, maybe we're football. talking. We're, talking. We're, not, we're, not, we're not talking. We're not talking soccer. It was a hot we're wife situation. <laughs> yeah, no, I know was, exactly, uh... Russ. You don't need to elaborate anymore. We know we put the. <laughs> Wait, sh sh so I shouldn't say the word that starts with C and then no. K. <laughs> Does that get you demonetized? No. I was trying to avoid you it. You should hold that <laughs> word. <laughs> uh, that, yes. But it's such a good word. It's such a funny All word. All right, man. Last one. <laughs> uh, no one will ever get And it this. applies so many times in the books. It does. Yeah. All right. How's, how's Silva? Here we go. Here's how Silva. Like Anderson Silva? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Like Anderson. House, House, House Anderson Silva. There we are. Yeah. That's... Oh, wait. Didn't they call him some sort of cat? Spider Silva, I think. Isn't that his nickname? I don't know. Who is the fighter that had a, was nicknamed after some sort of jungle cat? I don't know. I have no clue. LT Kimbo Slice. 
Oh man, I had this one Black for wrong Mamba. answers and I didn't use it once. Dang it. No, <laughs> and then I had this for right anyway. answers and I didn't use it once. Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> then I just have this, just you know, because why not? Like, <laughs> I figured it had to come up at least once. <laughs> you you use that whenever one of us gets you demonetized. There you go. Yeah, it was Santagar. Um, you should I gifify. Um, when Gilbert Godfrey just screams bitch into the phone. <laughs> bitch! <laughs> in uh, Beverly Hills Cop 2? Yeah. No, oh, that's my wife's car! I'm... <laughs> bitch! <laughs> I just thought of, uh, as so well, when, when they brought up House Santagar, I just thought of a pun for Tom's next uh, pun episode. It's just the gar, the fish, the gar, while wearing a Santa hat. Santa yeah, gar. Santa gar. The Santa Gar. It's <laughs> uh, good. It's good. That should be their sigil. I don't know so, what George was doing there. Yeah, that's it's gotta be a Santa Gar. Yeah. I mean, who delivers the presents for alligator gars? Right. It's gotta yeah. be Santa. Santa Gar. Santa Gar. Yeah. yeah. Santa Gar. Yeah, there you go. I don't, yeah, there you go. Well, we made it, and we still I still want to talk for at least And for the Jewish <laughs> ones, they have Hanukkah halibut. Oh man. <laughs> I was a little uh. slow on the draw on that one. I wish we had more sigils. <laughs> <laughs> oh my it's god! All right, we could probably do a whole nother like what was second place on your poll of what we should do behind oh, sigils. Oh man, we probably could. Here, let me go. Let me look. <laughs> I a two for one taco stream. Oh my god! Uh, no people buy get one mad. taco. Buy one taco, get one free. I'm assuming <laughs> somebody will get mad out there. They love doing that. They love getting mad. Um, yeah. Uh, do 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 do. do. Doing a live stream coming up. Uh, let's look at the post. Oh, it'd be Westerlands if we just snuck in Westerlands. Oh no, we can't do another whole whole sigil like thing. It'd have to. Be, it ha oh was like my a, my backup one. Oh, yeah, okay. what was like the before it was uh, sigils? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, a few of those I feel like were doable. Like debating who was evil, were these characters evil or oh, not? Oh yeah, and then, I, uh, I I really want to do a uh, uh, are they evil live stream like a lot. Um, sorry, no, all right, I'm Craster, looking... bad yes. or base? <laughs> <laughs> Craster, bad or base? <laughs> oh my god, that's so good. No, and then you and then you play and then you play the music for that's the intro that Preston Jacobs uses for the Night Watch series. <laughs> Right, craster, bad or base? <laughs> part part <laughs> one of seven, trying to get to the bottom of is Craster so, a bad guy? <laughs> so with this one, so all all sigils from a kingdom one with thirty four percent. So it was really close. And then uh, Kings Beyond the Wall was twenty seven, and Are They Evil was twenty six. Yeah. And then draw sigils for Sigilous House was only thirteen. I don't know how that lost. That's bullcrap. Really, um, really, really quick, back back to Craster being based. This would actually be a pretty, <laughs> no, 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 this this would actually be a pretty funny. I was game wondering game. earlier. Do we know how many generations Craster's we on think on like through? Oldest, like three, like three or four. It's, like it's bad. Three or four. We, we don't want it. Yeah, but well, there's an that, old lady there that we think is either his. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's sister or first daughter. If you were to do the video, you, you, if you were to do the video, you have to be like, you know, Craster, like bad or base. Like, all right, okay, so incest, definitely bad. Homeowner, definitely good. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a um, self starter. Guest right? <laughs> he, he, he really, he's a big guest. He does honor right guest right. Yeah, that's yeah, true. Yeah, 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 definitely. And he's a godly man. He's a oh, godly a man. man. He's a for godly Craster. Man. What are you going to say? <laughs> It, it has to be a tree, a weirwood tree, something like some old god thing, right? Like a baby. No, no, no. You could be like, you could be like, okay, you know, Crash I got like, it. Yeah, definitely, definitely bad, but also he has a pretty cool selection of sausage. Those weird sausages, right? Come on. <laughs> the long right. black hard ones. Yeah. I have a, I, I have a sigil design. So House Blackmont, but instead of a vulture, it's a tree carrying the baby. There you go. Yeah. yeah, like a great uh, be winged ent. Yeah, carrying a baby. <clears throat> With yeah, possibly. Do ent hawks have large I, talons? I would, I, would, I would go the opposite <laughs> way. It's a giant baby carrying a vulture. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> 
just grabbing it by the neck like it, you know. It's, it's a like, huge flying baby, and it's like, yeah, it's a, it's a huge flying baby that's like grabbing a vulture in one hand, and like choking. So I, I did. Hold on, these, I have to Google a word from chat. I did these um, <laughs> pulls like back way before I was doing my fighting my my big tournament, which I'm not even close to the middle of, but I'm inside right now. Um, I was doing Should pulls that were like, how evil is blank, and it's like. Well, they're Frey, Magor. So many people jumped on Magor did nothing wrong, unironically, where they were like, <laughs> and I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. People really are on the side of he was doing like what he thought was best until he got mostly killed during his trial of combat. And then he got brought back via sorcery and then he went evil. Yeah, they're people be loving that Megor. People be they're loving that skipping Megor. over that. stealing the freaking crown from his nephew. Like that just never gets brought up because he did yeah. that first. But yeah, yeah. But that's normal nobility stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I've but, seen that argument made that Megor was like based. <laughs> yeah, was he fine? He was fine. And so after that, I was like, all right, who who else should I ask? And then like I did one for Ares. Same thing. Everyone's like, Ares was cool until Duskendale. And then he got all messed up. And it's like, yeah, but you can't you can't give somebody complete clear, right? Like you yeah. can you can dis, you can blame something, but you still people are still responsible like for their actions. So like, hey man, Dahmer had a really bad upbringing. That's true. He was, you know, um he was abused, blah 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 blah. All that's true. Shouldn't have killed and ate people. <laughs> like yeah. like that but but the <laughs> actions are still his. You know, right. Right. now now I want to now I want to see an uh, K K Mad, Mad King Aries bad or based. <laughs> yeah, well, that's what that's what this could have been today, and I'm keeping that on the poll because I think Michael really wants to do that with me too. But just the are they evil will be like we pick four or five guys, so it'd be like Aries, Magor, uh, Tywin, you know, not Craster, <laughs> um, Wal <laughs> Walder Frey, right? So then it's like, all right. Well, well, their phrase we can use Craster house. as the scale, yeah, right? From Baylor Craster's... the Blessed to Craster, Baylor the Blessed's awful. Yeah, I was gonna say, <laughs> Baylor, no, Baylor no, he, is he, uh, he's he was awful. the only person I could think of who was no, considered no, he, good he, off the top awful. of my head. Darren the Good, he's apparently he's never trying to be awful, like he thinks he's he thinks he's doing the right, right. thing, right? Yes, Craster's so like from trying... okay, from Duncan the Tall to Craster, that would okay, be the scale. Darren the Good, Duncan the Tall to Craster. Yeah, that would be it. Keeping Crash in mind that Duncan the Tall is probably right, lying about his knighthood. Being evil. That's that's fine. <laughs> lying about knighthood, pretty based. I gotta say. Yeah, but lying about knighthood. Oh, oh, yeah. like, that's like actually matter. That's like interviewing for a job, being like, "Yeah, I have a college degree. It's <laughs> yeah. fine." <laughs> Any knight check. can make a knight. They never <laughs> check. Hey, I did spend three. That is a whack college. system, though. I mean, there have to be so many fake fucking knights walking around. That yeah, probably. I uh, I always say, well, I did spend three years in college. I'm not going to say if I got the degree at the end of the three years. <laughs> <laughs> it's art school. That degree doesn't help me anyways. Um, <laughs> no, I uh, I don't know. I really love the, like, arguing because I, like everybody else, you think, you know, Mager's evil. Okay, cool, moving on. And then you don't realize that there are people who completely think opposite of that. Like, oh, I thought we all agreed on this. Like, we all thought, like, you know, this guy sucks. I guess I'm wrong. You know, it, like, reminds me of the 2016 election all over again. For them. But, <laughs> but it's like, no, I thought we all, I thought this was a joke. <laughs> I, was, I was just about to make the joke, uh, as long as you do it, historical characters, not, like, current ones. Because if you yeah. do that about Danny, you're going to have everyone angry oh. at you, no matter which side no, you no. take. <laughs> Tywin is, like, Tywin and Walder are going to be the closest I get oh, to yeah. In Tywin, there's a lot of Tywin fans. Tywin, there, yeah. I was, I was gonna say Tywin is one that a lot of people try to like make Tywin. Are you in out. Tywin Lannister gold posting on Facebook? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's um, just shit posting about how great Tywin Lannister is. It's a lot of fun. Well, the the great thing about Tywin is you can argue he's one of the best. He's one of the best hands and one of the best rulers. But I mean, the what he did to Tyrion. Like you, you ha he has to be considered an awful person just for what yeah. he did to Taisha alone. Yeah. He had that has yeah, like yeah. that's Tywin's, Tywin's a real horrible piece of shit. He's definitely yeah. bad. Yeah, but you break it. Bad dad, good ruler. 
You know, <laughs> like, doesn't make him not fuckable. No, exactly. <laughs> Charles Dance. You remember in that uh, that allergy show when he's in drag in the allergy movie? I'd mess with Charles Dance. Yeah. What's up, Charles Dance? Um, I feel like Book <laughs> Tywin is less physically fuckable, but yeah, he's got about- that commanding presence that the lady. Yeah, it's because of those chops, giant sideburns. Yeah. Chops. Yeah. yeah, I got it. I that got was the one Andy. character where I was glad that they departed from the books. If it had Ooh. been a different actor, the chops might have worked. You guys but, are so uh, wrong. I did not <laughs> want to see so Charles wrong. dance with those fucking Everything chops. Everything you guys are doing is wrong right now. It would have been very funny to see like the most intimidating person in the whole show just look kind of silly. <laughs> I, uh, I would ride those chops. Are you kidding me? He would have looked like a Charles Dickens villain. <laughs> he does look like a Charles he Dickens does villain. Like a Charles Dickens he does. Villain. He does. He does look a little bit. Which like means him. I would not take him seriously. I would dick on his man, Woody. <laughs> <Am I right? laughs> You're like, what are you gonna not? Are you gonna not give me a second bowl of oatmeal? Is that what's oh, gonna happen here? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Are you gonna buy the big? turkey at the end of the day for me and my family Scrooge. <laughs> i'm gonna ebenezer screw him right, right. let's go oh god oh my god I, 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 love- I, I, I love how i love how much taco wants to bang Ty- tywin he's, he's i hate like- him though <laughs> no, but, but that's why you want to bang him so bad that's, so that's why you want to bang him so much i think like i could i think after a night with me Afterwards, he'd be like, "I could fix him. I could yeah, change like, him. I think I, could fix him. I think I could be like, did you like that? Well, we're not married. <laughs> like, maybe you should judge your son less. I am Taisha. <laughs> I, 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 I think, I, I, I think that, uh, I, I think that you, you'd bang him, and then he'd like throw a bag of gold at you, and you'd be like, "What is that? All I am to you?" And he'd be like, "Yes." You thought anything different? Get the fuck out of my castle! Yeah. And you'd be like, no, no. that's and then you'd, yeah. that's so accurate. All right, yeah, <laughs> that's uh, exactly yeah. what happened. Wait. So are we hanging out tomorrow? No. Yeah, uh. yeah. You 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 you'd send him a raven. You'd send him a raven, and you'd never get a raven back. No, absolutely not. <laughs> No, you know what? Ilan Payne would break up with me for him. <laughs> yeah, he would yeah, send, yeah, yeah. He would send Ilan Payne, Raven, who can't talk to you, to give me a letter. Yeah, you'd put Raven, Ilan Payne would show up with a letter being like, don't let me catch you in Lannister lands ever again. Yeah. Like, what the fuck is this? He would, he would send <laughs> Harry Ilan Swift. Ilan Payne shrugs. He's like, I don't know. He would send fat <laughs> Harry Swift to break it gently yeah. from me. Was I on a taco stream or when was I on with the interesting nerd club at one point? I think it might have been the nerd club when I said uh, Tywin is basically like he's the guy who yells at his son for video games, for playing too many video games. And then you walk into his room at three in the morning and he's up late playing World of Warcraft and he's max level as a dwarf character. <laughs> you bastard. That's, that's, that's him so like good. when Tyrion finds him banging Shay. It's just like <laughs> that's him playing his level 70 dwarf after yelling at Tyrion his entire life for playing WoW. Um I I do love the like, and then he finds a sex tunnel with like Tywin. You gotta walk my dog real quick. <laughs> Tywin was here written uh, on the side. Yeah, you gotta bounce for a second, I'll, Russ. Really quick. Yeah, I'll be right back. Sounds good. Really quick, uh, what do you guys think about the theory that the secret tunnel to the secret brothel that tunnel. Varys Sorry. reveals was actually built by Tywin? Oh, 100. 100 yeah. percent. One million. It makes the most sense. <laughs> yeah. It even I, has I, like I, golden. I always, I always thought that was an intriguing red. theory, and and then it um it kind of explained Ty- Tywin uh, scourging um like what what was the girl's name? Scourging. Uh, you yeah, bang? so so there, hey, there's a there's hey. a young there, there's a young girl who's the daughter of the brothel owner. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, all, all yeah, yeah, yeah. And and they they're not actually banging Tyrion and all yeah, yeah. But Tywin thinks they are. And so like like it, it seems such an extreme reaction to scourge the girl. And then so like people have speculated before that it's because she's actually Tywin's daughter. And so oh, Tywin was awesome. like having a crazy reaction to like what he thought was like potentially incest. But, oh wow. Uh, I don't know how much That's I buy into that. Whole, I, I don't know how much I buy into that side of the theory. That that side of the theory, might, that that side of the theory might be a little bit much to buy into because you never know how can you like tell who Tywin was banging. But I do like the idea that Tywin built the tunnel because yeah, he's so mad at Tyrion about whores that like yeah, he and definitely we, like, know that he yeah, we know that yeah, he yeah, likes yeah, prostitutes. It, it, it's, too. it's exactly it's Sex exactly that thing that, yeah, that Michael was saying where it's like he, he would be the guy who would have the secret tunnel to the whorehouse. And then yeah. be condemning his son for allegedly sleeping with a prostitute. He'd be that guy. 
Yeah. It, well, it's it, just, yeah. It's, it's such sexual repression because yeah. he, it, it's multi generational because Titus Lannister, yeah. like, took yeah. on the concubine, uh, concubine yeah. afterwards, after his mom died, uh, after, uh, I want to say, a Marbran is Tywin's mom, uh, died. And then, um, like, afterwards, then after Tidos died, Tywin, like, shames her and makes her do a walk of shame all the way down and, uh, like, all the way uh, all the way to Lannisport and all this awful yeah, stuff. Yeah, there's, there's, there's a whole backstory to it. Where, yeah. where he, where he's, yeah, and he I like that it's this multi-generational lover, thing. Yeah. And it, so he, even lover. Tywin, or, or Tyrion, is still him being ashamed of his dad for bringing a sex worker into the house and giving him or giving her his mom's jewelry like it it goes that back like i hate my son because my dad did this yeah because like, my because my because my dad tried to basically uh, have his second wife be a prostitute you know yeah, or, and, and then my prostitute my second yeah and then i hate myself for like yeah. sex workers well, what, too. What, 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 was she even was she even a concubine or beforehand I did, did, don't... did he did he just think of that woman? I as think a he just student? calls her uh, that, even though I think she would just lowborn. Okay. But yeah, okay, no, yeah. I, 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 I wonder, every I, lowborn like their. Yeah, sex I, 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 I thought she actually was a prostitute beforehand, and and that the, the the Lord Lannister had just fallen in love with her, and he's just insanely rich, so he's just like, come live with me, you know. You're talking um, about Tidotus's uh, whore. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, 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 but I wasn't sure if that was simply the way uh, Tywin characterized her, and if she was just a. I'm a assuming he just characterized her, her life, just you know, like and how all of a sudden he's like, "Oh, you're a whore because you were sleeping with my." Dad. Just like how he characterized Taisha when Taisha yeah, exactly, wasn't. yeah, yeah. So that yeah. that that might be more accurate. That probably is how it is, and I'm I'm just forgetting the story for some for some reason. Like I said for some reason I thought she was actually was a prostitute, and that's like why he got so on that train against hating prostitutes, but. It's even probably it's probably the second one, the even he more twisted he, one. If he just calls her that when she's you know sleeping with his dad, he wouldn't tell you there is a difference. Like he yeah, would yeah. literally yeah, say, yeah, exactly, yeah, exactly. Woman he's, he's super is fucked a, up about is, it. Is yeah, he it, the classism in a song of ice and fire is insane. Like, you know, like you know, lowborn people, bastard born, anyone who isn't high born are monsters, are inherently evil. Like there's that all over the place. Like they constantly bring that up. Like, of of uh, there's no difference between a lowborn person and a murderer, or you know, like oh well, they are murderers. They're all rats. They're all crazy. Yeah. And and they they say that crap all the time. Um. And I don't think uh, Aegon built it because Aegon never lived in it. <laughs> he never lived in uh the Red Keep. It also, was still being completed. Not even yeah. close yet. It also, there's that. Uh... Like, the thing is, like, Tywin also, I think, values, like, the Lannister name for, like, how rich they are. Like, and yeah. if you think of yourself and your family as, like, only the money that they have, well, then anyone who would be, you know, in love with a Lannister who's, like, who's not rich, is going to be like, oh. Looking for the gold. They want the money. They want Especially the money, somebody like Tyrion. Why would anyone right. love the thing I hate the most? Right. Which is Tyrion. Why would anyone love you, you monster? <laughs> Yeah, it's yeah. for our gold. You suck, and I'm the best. You're the worst. That's my time yeah. with impression. <laughs> That's my time yeah. with impression. Yeah. I I can grow a better beard than he can. He's mad <laughs> about it. He's pissed. Um, so I, defend- I, actually, I actually probably have to bail in the next, like, 10, 15 minutes. Like, do you guys want to talk about some other random stuff before I got to go? Or Yeah, yeah, man. We can talk. What, what do you want to talk about? What are you doing? Uh, uh, I, I didn't know if there was any more Dorn or if we just... No, we, no we're out of Dorn. We're just kind of... Going now, we're, we're, just, we're, now. we're, we're just kind of sidetracking. We're just kind of sidetracking. Yeah. Um, well, we're done. We finished it. <laughs> <We're>, <laughs> there is no track now. We finished the track. <laughs> we're off yeah. the rails and just running over anything so, that we can. Like until I we told you, this is this is what we're doing. <laughs> I, I, I told you, man. Um. Yeah. Bounce whatever you got to RIG. Um. But uh. I feel like this is like became a preview for if we do the are they evil or not. But so I, I got an interesting question for us. Uh, you know, so we were talking about that dragon prophecy from the Winds of Winter sample chapters earlier. Uh, mm-hmm. There's the idea that you know Danny's dragons are going to get split up and stuff, and it's kind of seeming that's probably true. Possibly, um, yeah. Where do you guys think they're going to go? Who I here's something. So um, fake Aegon. Uh, they keep saying that it's going to be another Dance of the Dragons. 
in order for the dragons to dance, there has to be one on the other side. And oh, yeah. I do think somehow fake Aegon's going to get a dragon and actually fight against her <laughs> with him. I don't yeah, know how. I, 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 no, I, so, I could not so tell you want to hear You want to hear a crackpot theory that I have about that? Dude, I love I, crack I, and I, pot. Yeah. I, I, I kind of I kind of agree that that's a likely option. And so in in my ending of my video about Varys and Illyrio, I talked about how there's this it's very brief. It was just a little blip when I was talking about potential ways that Danny's forces are going to get back to Westeros. That they're some they're probably going to march on land, some they're probably going to sail. And the ones who are sailing are are going to have to pass basically at some point. If the timeline lines up, it might they might be basically be passing right by the same ocean that would be opened up by Euron's defeat of the Redwood or, 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 or the, the Red Wine Fleet. So mm. let's say Euron defeats the Red Wine Fleet. It now opens up all of that way into the fucking like right around the, the Horn of Dorne and everything, and all the way into the fucking sea. It makes that all open to, to Euron. And then if Victorian is sailing back with Danny's forces and a bunch of captured ships and stuff, especially after they sack Volantis, which they're probably going to do. There's this potential for wow. those that for those timelines to intersect, and for those two major naval forces to be trying to go basically in, uh, uh, up the up the same path at the exact same time. And a lot of people speculate that Victorian is going to successfully capture a dragon. So I wonder if uh if Euron is planning to intercept Victorian coming back with said dragon and planning to kill him because he does seem like he's going to try to murder his brother and then if yeah. that dragon somehow gets loose it will end up getting loose right near where Aegon's forces have landed so what what a what a what a sign of legitimacy if uh, if the dragon gets loose and it flies toward the coast and somehow lands near Aegon's forces and picks oh, yeah. Aegon and they're like the dragon king Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it's kind of crackpot, but, but but I'm like, I think that battle's coming. Like, I think that like Victorian okay. and Euron have to have some kind of clash. So they both they both should have fleets, and he's been trying to catch a dragon. It's like, if in theory, those things could line up. Like, right? Um, like to to help you out. Not everything that this that lady critical just said. I don't think the urine waters is going to tame a dragon, but also if everything you just said is going to take place around the stepstones, we planted a Lord of the waters in era. Like, like urine waters is just urine. Urine waters is just hanging out in the stepstones for a reason. So I think there is going to be a big, huge, like urine forces, Victorian forces, like, Lord of the Waters is just going to be there. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, I know, I like, know, I think it's just going to be George all crazy. Loves, George loves those third forces that affect the battles, and that's something that, like, Preston talked about in a couple of videos, and, like, that is pretty true. He does often, it's not always, but George often does like uh, a third factor to come offset something that's occurring. So it would kind of all be there. All Rain Waters shows up. It's unexpected. Yeah. He takes Egg on side. You know, or he, take, he takes Danny's forces side representing Aegon, but the dragon gets loose and the dragon, you know. <laughs> it just happens uh, to yeah. land on uh, Griffin's or roof. Arian and Waters, like... Or Arian Waters captures the boat with the dragon tied up on it and he takes the dragon, <laughs> to the new, he takes the dragon to the new king. Uh, you no, know, this is and a that's, theory. And that's his, and that's his, <laughs> uh, and that's his way of, uh, that's his way of sealing, sealing his good faith with King, the new King Aegon, you know? I don't, Gives I don't, dragon. I, I have a I have a completely crackpot theory that I posted a video about about how um, Aegon could go. end up with one of the dragons, and it's called Marwyn will ride Miri Mazdur. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I hate you so much, Michael. Like, it's, it's, it's so funny because I feel like the guy who I'm friends with is not. I saw the I, thumbnail for this one, but I haven't watched it yet. I feel like the yeah. dude that I have became friends with is not the same guy who writes those videos. Where I'm like, oh, Michael, he's a great dude. And you're like, all right, so Nettles <laughs> is man. Hear me out. I'm like, oh, fuck. What's he doing? Um, <laughs> oh, and a very a very funny thing. I saw someone at one point on one of Preston's live streams is like, hey, you should check out Michael Talks About Stuff. And he pulls up my channel. And the most recent video I had posted was Marwin Will Ride Miri Mazdaro. I'm like, oh, Preston's going to think I'm insane. Well, anyway. <laughs> Preston says some weird crap, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and, and even someone, someone was, like, commenting on several of my videos over the course of, like, a day or whatever. And they commented on this video. They're like, okay, this one's just stupid. 
And I commented back. I'm like, I will not dispute that this is the stupidest theory I've ever posted about. I, but the I idea. Think, I think you do that Michael. where it's like a. Um, oh Michael, I have a very funny story about a person who commented on, on my channel after I posted that wall video. Yeah. So I posted this video about the wall where I talked about several different comments or several different channels. When the kind of and the comments, somebody's like, <clears throat> "Man, Michael talks about stuff sounds so pretentious," and he rants for like a whole paragraph. And I, I, I was like, <laughs> I, I was like, I don't know, bro. I I think he's just like passionate about what he's talking about, and like he thinks that maybe like a lot of the shit he's gonna say might sound crazy, but he wants you to hear yeah. him out, you know. And and, yeah. and and the guy's like, I, and I was like, you should go back and give him a listen again. And the guy's like, okay. He goes back, he listens to you, comes back, and he's like, okay, you're right, Michael. Joy. <laughs> well, no, the, the joke I'll the joke I'll forever make is the first time I listened to it, and this is not a joke. This is true. First time I listened to Michael's stuff, he was like, hey, I'll come on your channel. I'm like, oh, I should know who this guy is. So I like watch a couple of your stuff, and I was like, dude, this guy's nuts. Like I don't like I don't believe any of this crap. The first one I listened to was the old man is nettles and is leaf and it's like oh my god he's high and it, then like i, I meet you man. we get along pretty well and then it's like all right i'm gonna you know I'll subscribe I'll, I'll listen to everything that comes up turns out your videos start coming up right after mine every saturday morning so right after i you know make sure i don't say anything too stupid in my own i listen to yours and then now, like, I started, like, you're insane. And then I'm like, all right, now he's making a couple points. And now I'm like, this guy's a genius. <laughs> like, I'm getting, I'm getting indoctrinated. Like, yeah, I really yeah. feel like I'm getting part of a cult where the next step is, like, I'm going to buy land in Waco. <laughs> like, yeah. like, all right, man, I guess we'll build the compound. Uh, oh, like, I'm just, yeah. I feel like I'm getting indoctrinated oh. in a cult. Down, down to my my probably my dumbest theory that I've put out that you guys probably haven't watched. It's the idea is basically because Miri, um, she a knew who Marwin was and respected Marwin, and then b she was singing a magical like birthing song when the dragons were born. So like Miri was doing something in that pyre that led to the dragons being born. And in the house of the undying, Danny sees Miri with a dragon bursting from her brow, which with the way that like second lives and things work and only death can pay for life and all of that implies to me that Miri went into one of the dragons. So if the three headed dragon is like a consciousness merge inside the dragons, my theory is that basically like there were three sacrifices on the pyre. There are three dragons that hatch. One of those dragons has like 50% Miri Mazdur soul in there. And that's yeah. the dragon that's primed to betray Danny. Cause Miri was not a fan of Danny. So Marwin's going to rock up and Viserion, who is the dragon who turned against Danny in the show, he's going to be like, oh, hey, dragons. And one of the dragons can be like, oh, hey, it's Marwin. And then Marwin will ride Miri Mazdur and they'll go leave because Danny's nowhere to be found when Marwin gets there. And then they'll join up with Aegon. It's probably not going to happen, right. but it, it would be fun. I, I have I have something. That I, 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 this is the only response I got. No offense, but it sounds like some fucking commie gobbledygook. <laughs> Real man, commie gobbledygook right there. All right, man, hear me out. Mir Miri is in one of the dragons, though. I do believe she, that that's probably real. All right, but... we don't know if she actually can, like, she's on a warg. Like, when you bring it, just because um, she says this crazy blood magic just... death can pay for life and things, you just immediately assume <laughs> that she can transfer um, yeah, into. That, that, it's that just that I think that's what happens when you die in these books. I think when you die, your soul like, okay. can be used so, wait, for really blood quick, magic. Pause. I really think pause. Uh, I I do kind of agree with Taco's premise. Um, I, I I does Miriam Muster mention training with anybody who actually would know how? Does she train shadow binding and stuff? Right. She learned birthing songs okay. in a shy. So like like so so I'm I'm not I'm not saying that I buy in a hundred percent, but like you do need to be you do need to be trained somewhat to do the thing because like for example, Vermeer Six Skins consciously yeah, needed a teacher to heal someone's yeah. body. If, yep. if he didn't know how to do that, he wouldn't be able to do that. So, like, yeah. I, I yeah. feel like I feel like there's at least th that's that's kind of what I like about Michael's stuff is it's like there's at least room for the argument because well, <laughs> yeah, if 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 she does shadow binding, it's not that crazy to think that 
I agree with the premise that yes, that souls do this in this world. That in George There's... R. R. Martin's world, your consciousness leaves your body and evaporates into the universe if it's not put back in a new body, right? There is one. So what that would mean then is that uh, dro drug fucking what's his name? I forgot the name. Oh, Drogo husband. is Drogon for sure. Yeah, Drogo. 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 No, I'm sorry. So Drogo's body would have been filled with the spirit of her infant son that was being yes. born, and that's why yep. he was just like silent and staring. So if she had like toughed that out instead of smothering him with a pillow, Possibly. there'd be a she'd like waited a few years. How long does it like take a, a kid to start yeah, talking? No. Two years? <laughs> it'd be like a poor thing situation. You guys watch that movie? Well, uh, that's that's be kind of craft. Benjamin Button. That's more craft. That's more crafter stuff going on. Yeah, yeah. That's more crafter stuff. Day. Okay, no, 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 no. All right, I'm gonna devil's advocate for you, you piece of crap. Okay, <laughs> you piece of garbage. Um, we do just all agree that Drogon is a little called Drogo y right we yeah. just kind of like all right so following that logic she was in well, the well, fire no, as I, well i actually i actually i actually kind of uh, I, I, I almost actually, said my thought all right go ahead all right all right i've been trying I, I, for I, a bit i kind of i kind of dig what rusty was saying with it being a uh, drogon the, the son you know that was in drogo yeah body. yeah yeah all right so if it's if it's um what's his name um rego rego if Rago is inside uh, Drogon, who's now inside uh, Dro Drogo, that, the that poor guy was Drogo. just like, oh, I like feeling the sun on my the, face. And then the, she fucking wait. smothered him to death. I feel the sun, my son. <laughs> All right. No, uh, no, no. The point I was going to make is following that logic, since she was also in the fire, and yeah. since that's what awakened the dragons, yes, she could be in one of the dragons. I'm not going to buy that she has anything to do with the magic, though. I don't think it's because anything she learned or because she has any warging abilities. I think whatever it, ritual that Danny inadvertently did, whatever prophecy she did, did have to give life into the dragon eggs, and those lives happened to be the ones that yeah. she burned. Yeah, See, I still possible. think the eggs weren't truly petrified, and there was nothing magical about it at all. They just... Yeah, but people try to open. do eggs all the like people always try to awaken. I, the, no, 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 just those and, three eggs. Like there, like there are plenty of petrified eggs. eggs out there, but these particular eggs were not petrified. What if Kodrogo just didn't feel, feel like about, talking? Uh, about, what, what do you think about the, the unpublished chapters, Rusty? Where 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 they talk about how the Black Fires tried to hatch the eggs in a similar way, but it didn't work. Like, yeah, why haven't read them? Oh, okay. Well, so, so, so there's, <laughs> well, no, no, I, I, I didn't, I didn't know because it, it was all over the internet. I, I didn't know if, or not internet, but all over the ice and fire internet, you know, not all over the yeah. real internet. But, yeah, no, all, all over the weird nerd internet. People who talk about these books, but like the point is that there was these secret chapters that this, that this guy found in this place called the Cushing library. And it was, mm -hmm. it was a bunch of chapters that George had written and then rewritten. And so it was stuff that was in a feast for crows that got cut and so mm -hmm. uh, some of it was about how the Black Fires tried to uh, basically hatch eggs. It's essentially the same way that Danny did. They had like a big pyre and they they had sacrificed somebody on it or something. I don't know. I mean, Michael, do, do you remember the, that this shit? I, I know what you're talking about. Um, yeah, yeah, you're, talking yeah, about yeah. you're talking about uh, Maylee's a monstrous. His original reason why he was a monster is because he sacrificed. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. 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 Not because he had another Maylee's growing out of his Maylee's neck, but because yeah. he tried to sacrifice or he sacrificed his own son to awaken dragon because because that 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 having that that having failed in that thing did kind of make me think a little bit that like yeah maybe maybe there was some something going there's got to be some something I think George I think George has probably stated that it was magical. I, I know that he said that her not burning was magical. Yeah, he said uh, that that's not a normal thing. Because I, 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 yeah. I kind of, I kind of agree with you. That the eggs, I don't think there was anything wrong with them. I think they were just dragon eggs, and and but and but uh, but they just no one had gotten right the right way to hatch them yet. Mm -hmm. no. Yeah. Well, the missing ingredient R.I.G. could be that Miri was singing a birthing song from a shy because that is a thing that she. It could also. The missing ingredient could also be a Targaryen. Being present, right? I mean, maybe yeah, they've got the you know dragon fires, pheromones. Um, okay, the black guys, fires feel close enough. The that. Oompa Loompas told us we don't talk about the secret ingredient. All right, so <laughs> stop trying. Um, I, I just, believe if, those are the family gang Oompa Loompas, actually. <laughs> well, really quick before, so before I gotta go, was there was there anybody? Did you guys did you guys have any other guesses for who's gonna ride dragons? Like, um, yeah, 
All right. I'll, I'll, I'll give this a whirl. Um, you're on Greyjoy. That's all I got. <laughs> I, think okay. I mean, he's going to, I think he's going to try. Yeah, I think he's going to try. Um, yeah, Although Dragon like, Binder might work. Might. I, I, maybe it goes to Makara. <laughs> like, like, like the, if Dragon Binder works, it's not going to go. Wait, to he Victoria sent Dragon Binder way. with his brother, didn't he? Yeah. And, yeah. and he's going to have somebody blow it. Okay. And then, um, was it named Makario? Makario? Makaro. Yeah. Makaro, yeah. The yeah. the uh, maybe, like probably my favorite of the of the Relore priests because he's just yeah. huge and charcoal black and full of tattoos and's got that demonic voice. He yeah. said that he's gonna bind the horn to Victorian. I don't trust this random fire priest who we found floating. So I in the feel ocean. like we've talked about he's this. Gonna but bind did it to himself one hundred? Did did he tell Victorian that sounding the horn would kill you? Or was that going to be wait, common knowledge by wait, then anyway? He's having somebody else on the horn. Yeah, no, really quick. Also, Taco, so do you you, you think that uh, that Makoro is going to try to steal a dragon for R'hllor? Like the Temple of R'hllor? Yeah, 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 absolutely. Ooh, I think he's oh, either going to sing it for R'hllor or he's going to... He he also knows about Danny or something. And then he's yeah. going to fly over. I think he's going to... Yeah, I, there's yeah, a reason I, why I, Danny is warned about him. I I, I figured yeah. that so he, he was saying that he would that the temple of Relor was aligned with the Nereus and it seemed like they were I so I I figured he was going to betray Victorian in an attempt to you know help the Nereus or something like that maybe maybe but, but you can't trust uh, those those mad the red priests do seem to like Daenerys and like <laughs> she's kind of the prophesied person of their religion in their mind at least. As far as we've seen, so. yeah. As long as the red priests you're talking about isn't, Mas Mas uh, I can't even say Melisandre. Her name right now. Melisandre well, because yeah, Melisandre, Melisandre, Melisandre is like Melisandre doing her own thing. Kind of broken, she's like kind of broken from the temple. Yeah, like Yeah, like, totally <laughs> based. Gets gets all the immortal powers of religion, and then just like I'm gonna go That's do my a, own thing. That would be. A Can you imagine her going home Melisandre. after like realizing that Stannis wasn't the chosen one? All right, guys. I, I, she has to like report in. <laughs> so I got drunk yeah. on Dragonstone <laughs> and I saw all these gargoyles and I was like, "This is the spot. There's salt. There's smoke." I had a couple of demon babies, only two. I was off. A uh, I know you guys told me not to do that. Okay. No one <laughs> likes Courtney Penrose, anyways, right? <laughs> Everyone likes Courtney Penrose. I was yeah. listening to the fire. They kept showing me snow. I kept ignoring that because I had picked Stannis already. <laughs> snow. Whatever could that mean? And then Davin uh, Seaward pops yeah. in and goes, uh, John Snow's calling for you? No, no, shut up. What would snow mean? <laughs> snow mean? <laughs> Davin's just like, Mel, uh, in your inner monologue, that snow was capitalized there. Uh, the Shut fires up, are showing you snow. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> You're doing cool fire priest stuff, Davin. Have you, have you considered the fact that you capitalized that in the middle of your sentence to mean maybe it's Jon Snow, Mel? She's like, no, no, no definitely not. <laughs> No, I see where George is gonna throw us all for a twist, and Stannis really will end up being a Zora High. And oh, you know it. <laughs> Hell yeah. And Brienne Mel will kill him, dooming the world. Mel will be right. Yeah. Mel, Mel will be right. Brienne will kill Stannis. Yeah. The world will the, the, the others will win. We'll we'll see like an other POV for the first time, and they'll be dreaming of spring, and that'll be the end the, of the books. The the point of the entire books is this is why you don't let women become knights, guys. This is what goes wrong. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Okay. So we're so, turning to a horrible misogynist, and he'll yeah. <laughs> so he's just doing the misogynist rug pull. The last two <laughs> chapters, Melisandre accidentally awakens the Night King, who was like tied to the big tree underneath the yeah. night fort the whole time. The wall yep. comes down. He comes up, raises a gigantic army. Brienne stabs Stannis in the back. <laughs> Stannis dies, and they're like, "What are we gonna do?" And the Night King's like, "He could have done it. That guy right there. That guy was the dude." <laughs> oh, you. Oh yeah. man, we're gonna win now. And then they win. And one more, Mel's one more question. What do uh, What do you guys think about the idea that Stannis will become the Night King? Oh, he's got a lot of symbolism for if him. If he gets back to the Night Fort with Melisandre and burns his own child, like, yeah, there's a decent chance. You know, yeah, we, there's a lot of possible horrible deaths <laughs> holy crap oh yeah. my god i'm, I'm gonna run for like I, I, five I, minutes I i'll be right back I, I, right. I think that's a fun theory i like that theory all right i'll, I'll see you later i'll be right back 
But yeah, I'm, I'm gonna yeah. you're going to be I'm, right I'm, back. I'm Random I'm, internet I'm, guy's going to leave. Goodbye. Uh, good night, everybody. Uh, and, and, and I'll, I'll, I'll hey, catch thanks. you guys. Uh, thanks for guys coming and hanging out. Have a good one, man. Good night, man. Yeah, you too. Take it easy, guys. All right, now that we got rid of those two locals, yokels. <laughs> What's up, Rust? <laughs> You just call them locals. <laughs> yeah, screw them saying yokels. I didn't, I didn't get to ha- buy any alcohol before my show tonight, so I'm. I'm oh, that's unfortunate. Sober, which makes me not. Can you door dash it? No, you can't door dash alcohol. I think that. Ugh. At least I haven't tried. Uber it. Eats, you can. You get Uber Eats. <laughs> they keep sending me coupons for it, and I'm like, bro, I've been bro. sober for 11 years. Oh man, good for you. Uh, let's see. No, Quentin I like it. It's one dragon. Kind of... Danny has Drogo. Viserion needs a bond, or he's going to die. Well, in does... Yeah, Viserion. Viserion. It's one of the dragons. Yeah. Needs a uh, bond, or he's going to die in Marine. Yeah. No. Uh. Okay. Yeah, that's some April May stuff. Um. <laughs> No, I uh, I I love a lot Stannis of Stannis is that... so the Night's King. Yeah, 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 no, no. April May's been going up. I've been reading a lot of them. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, I love it. It's it's some good good stuff, right? Oh, now. Imagine if Stannis like becomes a Green Seer. Uh, <laughs> can we get we got booze delivery up here north north of the wall. Um, <laughs> I'm like right on the wall, and I don't get booze delivery. I wish. Um, you got to use the eagles from Lord of the Rings. Oh, they're chill. Yeah, yeah. They're chill like that. They can They won't bring you to Mordor, but they will uh, bring you booze. Yeah. Well, they're not a taxi, so why not? What's the point of being a giant eagle if you're not going to be a? That was just. I read this argument against why they couldn't ride the eagles to Mordor, and the only one I remember is they're not a taxi service. They're not a taxi service. Oh, but yeah. they are the one time they're a fucking taxi service. <laughs> the so they were like they were willing they, they were willing though. to like debase themselves to save Gandalf's life or no, something. Imagine if you were like I, I read that as well or saw what, something like that. If, that if you were talking to your wife or husband, anyone or your friend, it doesn't matter. I don't know why I said wife. You're talking to somebody you trust. You're like, I gotta walk thirty miles to go. Like I gotta go thirty miles today. Will you give me a ride? No, but I'll give you a ride back. Wouldn't you be like, you man, just give me right there. <laughs> like, what are, you, what are you talking about? This is a little closer to like, will you carry me on your shoulders? And then saying no, but like, I will if I have to carry you off a giant tower because you've been imprisoned by an evil wizard. Yeah, they're you like on the way home. Though, on the they line. do it again. <laughs> they're just like hey, they do. Look. They do maintain it. For, they do fly him awfully far. They're just like for, hey, for that you... to be valid. Yeah, if you risk your life saving the world and therefore cannot walk back, I will carry you. But I'm not just freaking carrying you there, bro. And right. guess what? That's yeah. messed up. Like, it, what? Yeah, 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 ride if, you, if Michael's like, hey, give me a ride, dude. How's your feet? Fine. Yeah, well, let me know are, when one breaks. The Eagles are douchebags. There's no... Yeah, the Eagles are douchebags. There's no doubt about that. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I'm getting at. They're yeah. helpful douchebags. But yeah. I like trying to explain who Victor Viserion is, just the creamy dragon. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's a sex act. <laughs> the creamy dragon. <laughs> oh man. Um, you know, we didn't get to use my stay on target video this whole time because I wanted us to derail. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I'm not gonna use yeah. stay on target. I want us to derail. And we oh. still did it way too quick. Dorn was too easy. It, yeah, I mean, that was just baked in when there was only, like, 16 of them. That was just going to happen. I, I was, like, happy. I was like, well, there's not a lot. We're not going to have to fight, like, to get it done. And then I yeah. was like, no, it's too much, too easy. Yeah. Um, I did see something April May brought up earlier in the chat, and I think uh, also commented on one of my videos recently that I haven't responded to yet, about how what's going on with the Black Gate where, like, Bran goes all the way down the well but then comes out at, like, apparently ground level and oh like, yeah there's two there's two options right well because i think the night fort on the south side of the wall is on a big hill on its own so okay. like it might just be that it's like halfway up the wall on a hill that doesn't exist on the other side of the wall which would be a little bit weird because like you know normally if you build like infrastructure through a hill like the hill is on both sides yeah but you build up the mound Right, they had to build up the mound. Right, they had to have built up the mound after they built up the wall. Or the other option I've heard that might be true is like, is the Black Gate does it exit to a cave like below ground 
uh, north of the wall? Because we never get told that by Sam. No, we actually don't know how they exit it. We, right. we only know when he goes through. You don't hear about, I went through and here I am. Oh, like, you know. It, right. And we, neither, hear, and we don't. Yeah, we don't see Sam coming through either. We just so, hear that he came through. So it's, it's here's weird. A we know almost nothing. Yeah. Well, I got a confession to make. I got another confession to make. <laughs> I, uh, I'm really not a brand chapters in the later books fan until he gets to the gate. Or until he gets not the gate, until he gets to yeah. um to the cave, just because so much of it's like we're walking, we're tired, we're cold, we cannibalize, we walk, and it's like oh yeah. my, and it's like what four or five chapters, and it's like I'm sure there's all kinds of really cool Michael talks about stuff symbolism going on, <laughs> but like uh, so much of it's like. Like, there's literally a whole thing where it goes up a hill and down a hill and up a hill and down a hill, and that's the whole chapter. Let me validate your opinion here, because my first read-through of the books, I was also like, okay, these brand chapters are kind of boring. It was only until, like, I start Because, like, the whole reason, like, I'm so interested in these theories is because, like, I read the books, and then I went on Reddit and saw what they were talking about. And they had good theories for pretty much everything but the I magical Reddit, aspects. Yeah. Uh -huh. Like all of all of like the politics and stuff, like they had good theories about all of that. Uh, the night lamp theory is good, but mm -hmm. no one had any good theories, in my opinion, as far as like the others and the magic and what was really going on there. No, you're the first guy who I think is actually kind of nailing it a little, which and, I hate and, giving you that much credit. <laughs> well, and that was that was the reason that I'm like, okay, like this is the thing that I'm the most interested in now of these books because like I feel like I had all my other questions answered. And when I would go back and relook at the books and like try to think about things, it was always trying to figure out what's going on with the magic in the old ways and how do you solve the others issue? What are the others? Mm -hmm. All of that sort of stuff. And then when you're like, once I had gotten like my framework of what I think is going on built, then going back to the brand chapters, it's like tons of really good supporting evidence. And it's like, oh, now I get what George is doing with these chapters if he ever finishes this dang series on reread, a lot of these little things that you ignored the first time are going to be yeah. really interesting. Well, but... in, in in like, I think what gets me on that is the books they're in. Like, yeah, I, I'm. I think I'm weird for not loving dance that much. Like, I don't like. I, it's fine. Like in the 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 last third of dance when feast has caught up like oh cool or like like all right now we're 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 getting new stuff but if i had to like um i one of my listen throughs i decided to do the uh the uh, a feast with dragons read through and that's when somebody put the chapters all in order for feast yeah, through dance that's my and then favorite dance yeah that's so my favorite read i think my three my my third go through i did it that way i noticed something and it was a feast is great. Like I like almost every chapter where I was like, well, this is a banger. It's feast. This is a banger. It's feast. And I think yeah. it's because John chapters are okay. Danny chapters are okay for the first like bit, but like what's going on at that time chronologically in feast Cersei chapters are killing it. Brienne chapters are killing it. Jamie chapters are killing it. Like for the first like half of when you combine them, Feast right. is totally better. It's not really great, in my opinion, until we get to the end, until like late Danny chapters are doing really good. Late John chapters are doing really good. You know, um, and then late, J like last couple of Jamie chapters are killing it. But it's like, a, I don't know, man. I think it's because I like Feast so much. And don't tell um, Quinn the GM this, but I'm just not a John Con fan too much like i just i don't have the boner for john con a lot of people yeah. do in Tyrion, Tyrion's a complete monster in dance i don't yeah, like Tyrion's just... chapter so much because he's so gritty and gross and greasy and nasty and dance he's a bit of a depressed I like watching monster. him get radicalized well <laughs> he's just so like i mean how many the, the how he treats the one of the sex workers is it like makes yeah. it really hard for me to go through like oh, yeah. I'm, I'm just yeah. such a not like who was it it was um old shift x's real Tyrion of like guys he's the villain 
Like, can we stop pretending he's not? And and yeah, I'm going to state like he means well and he's fun and he's he's really Tyrion's like easily the best thing about the first three books. Like his chapters all the way up through swords, amazing. But dance Tyrion is rough. And yeah. it's really hard for me to like. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Tyrion's definitely a villain, and like that's been turned back up in Dance when he's all depressed. But like, one of oh. the interesting things too that I brought up—I've actually brought this up in my April Fools' video, and some people in the comments. This is like one of the few serious takes in that video where I was like, "Guys, remember, like, it was fun being in Tyrion's head when he was Hand of the King. Yeah, but all he did was piss people off and make enemies that came mm -hmm. back and just." fucked his life up. He's like, a, not a great over. schemer. He's an yeah. awful schemer. He's a funny dude who He's gets himself schemer. into trouble and, so, well, and then gets himself out of it most of the time. The, but like, the, how old is Tyrion at the start of the story? Like, like 27. Yeah, he's yeah, like 27. Okay. Like so yeah, he's yeah. acting like a teenager. Yeah. yeah. And he's like uh, a rich 27 year old, so like he's a bit you know, probably yeah. like less... As Illyrio says, kings lack Rested the caution of common men. Yeah, he, he lacks the caution of like a poor man who had to survive. In, and go, go to actually. Tyrion's go to Tyrion's trial. He did all that to himself. The two people who yeah. lie, the, there's two liars in the whole the whole trial. And one is of course uh, Shay who lies, and then <laughs> uh, um, freaking uh, Tyena Merriweather, <laughs> and we don't know why she is, but she's also lying. Yeah. But the only everybody else tells half truths or truths. The, yeah. A lot of them are he yeah. beat the crap out of me, he insulted me, he beat up the king, he told the king, I'm gonna kill you multiple times. All these are true things, yeah. <laughs> I mean, a lot yep. of it's like you know, he, he told he the slept. queen that he was gonna create the worst day of her life, yeah. He literally yep. tells the, the line that he says to Cersei. When he's like, anything that happens to Arya, uh, uh, Aliea, I'm gonna do to your son. Like, bro, like that's a just, that's a dark line. <laughs> and he says that just to throw her off the yeah, trail just, of who is actually no reason. is. Yeah, for no he's, reason. Yeah, in front of needed. witnesses. Damn it, yeah. <laughs> in front of yep. people. If you heard, yeah. if you were freaking um, uh, Marin Trant and you heard him say that. You're gonna be like, dude's a killer. You like, you like draw your sword an inch. Like, wait a minute, is the king's guard? Am I obligated to fucking do something about this guy? Because <laughs> yeah, at that, that point, feels like, like a threat. <laughs> yeah. yeah, dude, that's some messed up stuff, dude. Which, um, uh, I I don't know if uh, you saw my April Fool's video, either of you, but Rust, you might appreciate it. Oh, I, I, watched I, it. I did yeah. the top a Song of Ice and Fire Mandela effects, but the yeah. April Fool's yeah. joke was that I started it off by saying. As everyone knows, the Mandela effect has always meant when someone thinks you died, but then you later go on to become president of South Africa. Yeah, when you become so Mandela. I, yeah. So then I ranked the Song of Ice and Fire characters who have had a fake out death in uh, order of how good of a president of modern day South <laughs> Africa they would make. And Tyrion was number three on the list. Oh and I was God. like, he's only number three because he actually sucks at everything political that he does and just screws himself over. But he did have a fake out death. So uh, number cool. and he's really good and he's good at civil infrastructure and we'll give him yeah. that much. No, number two was Davos because telling hard truths mm. would be good for South Africa, and then number one was Mans because he united all the wildling hands. Obviously, he can <laughs> unite all of South Africa. <coughs> so. Yeah, no, that's pretty good. For my uh, April Fools video, I just did a video on how engineers determine the weight limits for bridges. And I went with the old Calvin and Hobbes line that they just big drive bigger and bigger trucks over it until it collapses and then they rebuild the bridge. Wait, so that wasn't true? Yeah. No, and garage doors don't use magic either. There's also not a little man in the ATM <laughs> waiting in there to feed you the money. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, All I, uh, shit our watched, dads told us in the 90s. I watched uh, both of your April Fool's videos. It's not really nice. have a life. Uh, mine wasn't even April Fool's. It was just the only time I thought I could cover a character named Shitmouth. I figured April Fool's is the only time I could get away with like, all right, guys, you want a Shitmouth video? And it did really well. People love Shitmouth. <laughs> and he yeah. ended up being a great character because he's a mountains man who's just like swear words. He's not uh, He's not a 
piece of crap. Like he's not an R wordist. Uh, he's just yeah. a dude who likes to say fuck a lot. <laughs> and I'm, I'm down. I can't believe my shit mouth video stay monetized, dude. It did. I've, it's How do I get wild. my city council to see me that way? <laughs> he's not like a they piece take, of shit. They he take, just loves swearing. They take my they take my language as like a personal attack, like all the time. And I'm like, I I don't know what to do about it. Anyway. Like this is just what I. This is just how I talk, guys. Like I don't understand right. what the mis. Like, can I get a doctor's note that just like says like <laughs> you can't help it? I remember. I remember thinking for the longest time that people who got offended by like language or crass jokes are are small minded. Like you got to realize that it's just words that you know, uh, like symbiotics, like. I'm literally just squeezing air through my throat and I'm moving my tongue and lips in a way to form a language. And the fact that one of these sounds <laughs> is offending you, you're just an idiot. And then yeah. I got older and then I met somebody in their twenties that just swore too much. And I was like, I don't like this guy. And I'm like, Oh, okay. Huh? <laughs> like maybe I, Either I'm becoming lame or I was wrong the whole time. And the act of wanting to offend everybody you meet stupid. <laughs> never, never know. do that, Taco. Never mature or grow never, up. Assume, never assume that you are always correct when you were young. And, oh my uh, god, and, I was a uh, punk, yeah. man. I literally tried to offend. <laughs> I had a, I had a, a suit jacket. I spray painted. I eat babies on the back of. I thought that was like <laughs> big brain. <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna piss everyone off. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, I was I was an idiot. You, you you had your own version of the I don't really care do you jacket. Yeah, pretty much. And then I was like, why does no one take me serious? <laughs> you know? yeah. I literally yeah. was like, why does everyone dislike me? I just I was yeah. using whiteout to paint like fucking Bruce Lee sayings on my backpack. Hell yeah. I thought I he was the shit for like two years. Screaming and calling everybody names, and then I'm like, everyone dislikes me. I'm being bullied. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're an asshole, Mark. <laughs> yeah, no, it took me a while to figure that one out. <laughs> yeah, it'll happen. Sadly, that'll too happen. long. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's what's like, being know, a teenager about if not you know, unintentionally being this is a like late asshole? This is like late 20s, Michael, but thanks for Okay, well, me. <laughs> I was I giving was you about, the benefit of the doubt. I think it was about 27 until I, I figured it out. Maybe a it's little okay. Older. I, I look back on like every part of my life and be like, oh man, I thought I had it all figured out, but I was a fucking moron. Yeah. And now I'm like, oh man, at least I have it all figured out now <laughs> as I did every other point in my life. So I'm like, well, in five years, I'll look back and be like, oh, I was a fucking moron here, huh? Yeah, but, no, totes, totes. <laughs> I still just fantasize about going out into the woods and living there and not coming out. I still think <laughs> I even have the woods, the specific woods picked out. Um, I remember my cousin told me a story about how I hated people named that would just say bro. Cause I was associated that with like frat boys and, and, you know, rich kids like, okay, bro. So he's like, dude, you were really drunk in a bar and this guy was being nice to us. But he was just ending a couple words of or sentences with bro, and you got in his face. <laughs> I was like, I did. He's like, all right, bro, come on, bro. And I'm, I apparently like almost fought him for doing nothing. You just say him, bro. <laughs> and he's like, no, I couldn't take you anywhere. Man. <laughs> we, we, in high school, we had a teacher whose first two letters of her name were R O and then the rest of her name. And we started calling her bro instead of Ro, you know, her yeah. name. And she was fine with it until she found the website My Life is Bro and found out it was a bunch of just like sexist college age jokes and like all that stuff. And she's just like, oh, yeah, you can't call me bro anymore. Yeah. It's like, no, guys, it, it, that wasn't the intention. We just think you're cool. There was fun. a the football team in my high school made some shirts that had the names of plays on the back of them or on the front. Even I'm not sure which, uh, but one of them was called Skeet. Uh, yeah. where like <laughs> the it, it's something about like a group of guys like go out and then like explode right so it looks like a clay pigeon yeah. you know going okay. off and okay. like the none of us had any idea about the second else. meaning yeah. of it yeah. yeah we didn't know none of us knew that until the principal was like you can't wear that shirt because it means this like he taught us the dirty word yeah. just to, in order to censor it Tur turns out yeah. your principal totally could hang and he's like no you, you don't know <laughs> oh the dude our principal my uh, my my public high school principal was a great fucking dude man absolutely 
What's that old Chappelle show skit where it's just like, well, white people are going to freak out when they find out what skeet, skeet, skeet means. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I, I wish my high school principal was cool. I almost got expelled from high school my senior I, year for, for making a YouTube video making fun of our high school that kind of started going viral. And then he oh, man. I, in the office and I was like, uh, the tech, like the people who run the computer lab yelled at me and were like you either take this down today or we're expelling you my two other friends who were in the video got yelled at by our principal and apparently he was so mad at me that he couldn't even face me like oh or he would have just freaked the hell out and like he the thing is i made it at the end of junior year and it was like a day in the life of a person at our high school where we were just making a bunch of really bad jokes that would have gotten us canceled today and like making our school look just like a bunch of dumb rednecks, basically. Uh, one I can say, <laughs> one I can say is um, we had like two minorities at our school. Right. And so I walk <laughs> through the hallway in between classes as classes are changing. I'm like here at X high school, we have a very diverse student body. There he is. And I zoom in on one minority. <laughs> friend. <laughs> And there he one. is. And, and, he, and he sees me zooming in, and he just turns and flips the bird to the camera as he's standing in the line at the water fountain, so un, unscripted. And it's just like, it's just jokes like that for 25 minutes, just That's making good. fun of our high school. He watched it in like five different teachers' <laughs> classes at the end of my junior year, and they all laughed hilarious. Like, it was amazing. And then the beginning of senior year, someone's like, you should upload that to YouTube. I'm like, great idea. Oops. So I did. <laughs> and then it within three days, it was the top search result if you searched our high school on YouTube. Oh, man. And then they pulled me into the office. And they're like, you take this down in front of us right now or we're expelling you. Oh, and man. so I did. And uh, I, uh, I apparently the story I heard was that he was going to expel me but several teachers who liked me talked him out of it. Oh man. Um, so yeah, that, that almost happened, which would have been, I, at the time I'm like, Oh, like, like our, our Dean of students was like walking me to the uh, office to get talked to. He's like, look, you really don't want to get expelled. Like, I'm like, <laughs> no, I don't. I'm aware. Like I'm aware. I don't want to get expelled. You don't need to explain uh, to me. That. I but in hindsight, also oh, have yeah. one of those. I also had one of those t-shirts. It wasn't 20 <laughs> years ago, uh, but when I lived in Seattle, I uh, I got expelled in seventh grade. I got sent really? to, um, yeah, I got sent to an alternative school called River's Edge, and I had no business being in that school. Like I, uh, I just talked a lot, and I just you know interrupted class and pissed off teachers. That school I got sent to was like. They were 14 and 15. Good man. Seventh, seventh and eighth grade. Like straight up crack dealers. <laughs> and, and this is an area where there are no crack dealers. <laughs> but they were all there. Like I was like, I didn't know this kind of stuff existed. Like real actual criminals. And yeah. it was like, I I did not belong. And then I like left being part of that crowd. And like, you know, it's like in, in blow when he's like, I went into like prison was a drug school. I went in with a yeah. bachelor of marijuana and I left with a doctor of cocaine. No, like I, like I actually became a legit monster because I got expelled and went to that alternative school where I'm like hanging out with people who my mom's like, I don't want really to know these guys. And it's like, well, they're yeah. pretty cool. If you get to know them, once you get past the whole crack dealer thing, they're pretty chill. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I, uh, and then in eighth grade, I went back to the public school, but they, uh, um, the rule of like, you get suspended this many times you get expelled. They just took away from me because I was already expelled. So I just got suspended every week. I would, I got <laughs> suspended for three days, pretty much every single week. And my grades like were non-existent. And then, <laughs> and then in ninth grade, when grades started to matter, it was still in the same school. And I, I got suspended less. I still did quite a lot, but yeah, I was a horrible student. I loved school yeah. though because I loved being social, but yeah. I never did any of my homework. <laughs> so I, I look back. And I, I was like, I had this thought senior year a few times. I'm like, I don't do homework at all. How am I like not failing out of school? Like I just ignore 
like several several yeah. things that I'm told to do, and I just don't do it. And it's, if, I, it's if my grade got too high, I would stop doing that class until I got back down to a D. Because I'm like, I well, set I, my, I don't uh, need to work for a while. I set my senior year. That's so ADHD. Yeah. <laughs> I am. Um, I uh, oh, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> my bad. No, you're Something good. Something about your senior year. Oh yeah, I set it up so it was a really easy schedule. Um, same, yeah, same. So I I, I, I never class, had homework, so I, had so I was class. never doing homework, but it was just because I'd had it set up so that I never had homework. I did the um, same thing. Yeah, I was in a lot of developmental classes, and I had one of the one of my teachers who was teaching AP as well. He was teaching AP in developmental classes, so you know the 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 dumb kids and then and the smart kids. And he he said to me, he was like, "Mark, you belong in AP." And I was like, "Yeah." And he goes, <laughs> "Yeah. How come you're not in it? Like you're you're comprehending all this. It was literature. It was English." He's like, you're comprehending all this. You're reading at a better level than anybody in my AP class. You are casually reading, you know, books that are way above. Why are you in my quote developmental class? And I was like, how much homework do you do in your AP class? He goes, oh, like a lot. I'm like, well, there you go, dude. Because <laughs> yeah. we read all the chapters in class in this one. And then some AP <laughs> stuff, you're going to say, this is the one we read in class. I read three at home. And I'm not doing that. <laughs> He's like, oh, I, I accidentally <laughs> took remedial math my uh, junior year because I was transferring schools. And uh, so all my life, I've been about a C average math student. I'm not great at math. I'm awful. At uh, math. Yeah. And then I accidentally took a year of remedial math the entire year, not finding out that it was remedial math, just suddenly pulling down a 98% without even trying, being like, all right, all right, I figured this math thing out. And then, like, for my senior year, I didn't even have to take any more math, but I knew if I stopped, I was going to lose every bit of it. So I sign up for AP statistics my senior year, because what I had just taken was called probability and data. No, Nobody telling me that it was remedial. So I sign up for AP stat and they're like, you need your previous math teacher's signature for this. Not telling me the reason I needed the signature was because I didn't have any of the prerequisites for this class. So I go to my current math teacher who just taught me an entire year of remedial math, ask her to sign this thing saying I can go to AP stat without the prerequisites. And she's just like, how's your algebra? And I was like, I don't That's you okay. tell me you're my math teacher <laughs> like <laughs> and she's, she signs it in the first day they're like so everybody knows what logarithms are right and I went to put my hand up to say that I didn't realize that was the only one so I put my hand back down <laughs> and uh <laughs> used google to teach myself what logarithms were all right so um, we'll but fortunately we'll I was I was seated we'll I was seated <laughs> between the uh I was seated between the valedictorian and the salutatorian so I was able to pull a c minus out of that class but Oh, man. Uh, not because the teacher I, was any good. I'm reading With, April, May. If you're talking, if you're still talking about Seattle, the Seattle City Library is way better than any school I would ever hang out at. I just, I love that library. It's great. Delray Beach has a wonderful library. I just remember getting completely shwasted junior year. Like all junior year was me doing drugs and in uh and drinking constantly. Senior year, I like had to pay attention because I had to graduate. And when, when somebody did the math at the beginning of senior year, like I'm like, Oh, there's no way I'm going to graduate. Right. Like I, I'm, I think my GPA was 1.11. I'm not kidding. <laughs> and I was like, there's no way. Right. <laughs> They're like, no, if you actually have a full set, like no periods off, if you have a full set, you actually can graduate if you pass all your classes. And I was like, really? So then I was like, all right, no more drinking at school. <laughs> like, <laughs> dang it. Mark, you're buying a lot less OJ. Yeah, I can't put vodka in anymore. <laughs> with, with math, I was always like, through like grade school and middle school, I was always like in the super advanced, like the most advanced math that we had. And I was pretty good at math. And then at one point, I'm just like, I am sick of doing all this homework and just stop doing it. And by the end of high school, I was like, so like... I took the math class and then like two weeks in, I'm like, I hate this teacher. I don't care about this. And then like, I got to, I, there was like an option for some kids to do an online math course. And so I ended up just like getting my parents to complain and I got to get into the online math course. And then it was super easy and I just didn't do math. Like I went from like the top level to like the lowest level possible basically. Oh. 
just by being like, I don't care about doing any of this homework right now. All right. We successfully For my dad's have... undergrad English classes, he would just okay, show up for the midterm one. and the Go final. Ahead, no, that's all. He would just show up for the midterm <laughs> and the final. Because they would like give him the reading list and it would be like abridged versions of stuff he'd already read. So he'd just oh, show yeah. up for the midterm and the final so, and pass the class. We successfully wasted 30 minutes talking nothing at all about A Song of Ice and Fire. So um, I'm going to bring up a Song of Ice and Fire topic, something that's been in my head. I already filmed my video for Alaric Stark or Alaric, however you want to say it. So Michael, I'm not sure how your um, Fire and Blood history is. Do you think that Alyssa Targaryen is Alaric Stark and Queen Alysanne's bastard child? I don't have a strong opinion on it. I've heard that theory before, and it would be interesting, but I, I can, don't. I, you want I don't, me to break it all down? Yeah, 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 yeah. Give okay. me the evidence. So I've been calling this A plus A equals A, which no okay. one has called it that, but I love it. <laughs> I the do it in theory. my video. The triple A theory. Thank you. So um, Queen Alysanne decides to go up to the wall because they were going to do a royal possession, not to the wall, uh, to the north, um, progression, a royal progression. But uh, young old King Jaehaerys can't. He is um, has to stay at home and uh, do peace talks between whatever, two, two of the free cities. I can't even remember which ones, but it doesn't matter. So he's home doing peace talks, and it, she flies up to the north, Immediately, Alaric Stark is cold. He's a jerk. He's mad because um, all the war, um, all the um, Magor supporters that they sent up to the wall after he took this is a, only a few years um, after Jaehaerys took the throne for um, over uh, Magor the Cruel. All of the supporters and everybody else gets sent up to take the black, and then immediately two of the old King's Guards do a mutiny thing, right? And in this mutiny thing, Alaric Stark's older brother, can't remember his name off the top of my head, this is all off the dome, by the way, um, goes and takes one of them out and then gets jumped in the haunted forest by a bunch of giants and gets torn in half. So Alaric Stark is super pissed and he completely blames Jaehaerys. Like, Jaehaerys should not send southern knights who have no business being up here just sending away your problems to the wall, like, screw off. So when Alisane shows up, he's immediately like, I don't have enough people for a thousand men. And she's like, well, we don't have a thousand. We have a hundred. And he's like, oh, that's still too much. Screw off. Like, I don't need you up here. So she eventually, he eventually warms to her and she's there for six months before um, Jaehaerys ends up showing up. Right away, Alaric takes him down, shows him the crypt. And he's like, you're why my brother's down here. What the hell? Jairus apologizes. They never become friends, but they do work out like the new the new gift and like other things before Jairus leaves. So if you do the math, I want to say it's in 77 uh, AC, but I might have this off here. I right, let me let me figure it out really quick. If I find um, Alyssa Targaryen's birth year, I will be able to tell you the uh, the years. So. Alyssa Targaryen was born in 80, so it would be 57 where she goes to the north, right? And then okay. she's there. So it could be the end of 57 as far as we know. She's there for six months before Jaehaerys shows up. And then in 60 is when Alice, Alyssa's born. So almost possible, slightly. If she would like, have to have gone back or, yeah. No, no, no. She could or, she could have got there right at the end of 57 and then halfway through 58 got pregnant and then boom, she has Alyssa in 60. Wait, that's a year and a half though, right? She oh yeah, in. it is. Yeah, all right. My math would have, yeah, my math is off. Okay, so anyways. I was like, you're you're the only one here who had a kid. How long was your wife pregnant, Todd? <laughs> I don't know, man. I think she's still pregnant. Well, let me make sure I don't got my years wrong here. So uh, I might have my Alaric. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Stark. I mean, well, the, yeah, she'd have, she could have gone back or visited, but yeah. Um. So he, they show up in maybe it's a, the wrong. Oh, it's fifty eight. Okay, I'm wrong. I was wrong. So she shows okay. up at fifty eight, end of fifty eight, okay. right? 
So yeah, then 59, okay, that middle of 59, she can get that pregnant. Could work. And then have, yep, yep. So, all right. So it's 58. I'm not looking at comments yet. <laughs> um, so, yeah. All this being said, all right. Alyssa Targaryen is very wild, very wolf bloodish. She does have two different colored eyes. She has darker blonde hair. She still has blonde hair, but it's darker blonde. No one else is described as darker blonde. And if she was a product of, you know, of incest, her um, her j- <laughs> genes would be, of yeah. course, less, you know, yeah. they're, they're less um, more uh, diverse. Differential, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like <laughs> the same recessive genes, the same dominant genes. She's probably yeah. going to look like your parents, right? So... Yeah. <laughs> So all that is being said, she darker blonde, um, wild, and dies young, loves flying her dragon, like possibly a war with her dragon because she's with him right away, brings her kid, like uh, flies early, brings her kids up on the, um, uh, up on the dragons right away, loves banging her brother, sex is great, like very wolf blood is what I'm saying. She's like Brandon Stark. Targaryen girl dies early. Do you believe A plus A equals A? That's all the that's all the evidence yeah. I have. <clears throat> um, I mean, it certainly would make sense. Like it would if the timeline works out, I could see it because, like, yeah, yeah, like Queen Alysanne sleeping around on Jaehaerys, like that would make sense. Like, I don't see um. why not. Okay, I want I want to go with April May. There is no Dondarian yet. So um, right now the the only Targaryen, the only blood is Valerian and Targaryen. That's it at this point um, it, that we know of. I mean, maybe maybe before Aegon, but since Aegon, Aegon to a Targaryen, Aenys to a Valerian, does, and then a Targaryen she, to a Targaryen. Does she mean Durandon? Instead of yeah, but there. then the, well, there's definitely no Durandon. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. She said, uh, yeah, she did say Dondarrion, but it wouldn't even be a Durandon. There's literally following from. We don't know what happened before the conquest, but Aegon marries a Targaryen, right? So then their kid, uh, then Aenys marries a Valerian, and then it's two of his kids are, you know, Alysanne and um and Viserys. Or Jaharis, and then then somehow they make a darker blonde kid. The main thing I wonder about with that, if it's true, is like, is there something magically significant about the yeah. marriage between John and Danny, or so, not, uh, but or between Rhaegar and Elia that makes John rather be? But the this first, would make like, him no longer important. This would make who's him, John. John. This yeah, would mean that right. there are star- there's Stark blood before all Already, the other yeah. bloods, like because right now that's the only one missing, right? Because we get Blackfire or Blackwood blood, we get some um, Dane blood in there, we get some Doran blood in there, but this is saying that there was Stark blood before all that blood. So does does the Targaryen line pass down through the potential Stark daughter? Yeah, through both okay. of her kids. Yep. Gotcha. So um she is she is um Viserys' mom and and Damon's mom. So okay. that means that uh yeah. the blood goes through Viserys to Rhaenyra, and then Rhaenyra with Damon gets you Aegon the third, and that thing continues the line. That's interesting. I so that's a lot of Stark. Yeah, <laughs> because you're not the yeah. movie blood at all. <laughs> right. That's really interesting because, yeah, it would make and it then, yeah. less significant. Christy bringing up the whole two colored eyes, too, with the chimera. Of, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, Go, keep that, going. That, that's some pretty strong evidence. I was just thinking out loud here, basically. Like, it, it sort of depends on what the point is of the Song of Ice and Fire, right? Like, if it's the... Because... One has to assume that it isn't just about the mixing of the Stark and Targaryen bloodline that makes John special. It's about like the timing that John is alive, right? Like because this is the time when the others are coming back, so this is the time, you know, like yeah. It so it it 
it would make sense that it's not just the fact that he's half Stark, half Targaryen that matters. It's just like the prophecy that the ghost of High Heart told them, or if like Aegon had the dream of a Song of Ice and Fire, like all of that stuff was just about like at the time when the others are coming back, you're going to have a half Stark, half Targaryen. Yeah. So um, like, I don't think it really, I don't think it really goes against or breaks any of that. Like I can see it happening. Yeah. Like, I don't think it, I don't think it breaks it necessarily. I, I never thought it when I first heard it, it bothered me. <laughs> because like, I know like what normally happens when I hear fan theories that I don't like, I'm like, that makes me mad. But uh, <laughs> but the more I then I made my Alaric Stark video, and I was like, yeah, there's no way the math lines up. And then I did the math. I'm like, all right, the math kind of lines up. And I yeah. was like, yeah, but you know, she she's like a Targaryen through and through. And I was like, well, she's got darker hair. Okay, I, I guess I forgot that the two colored eyes. Oh, damn it. <laughs> yeah. like, like the more I thought about it, I'm like, okay, maybe. <laughs> Dang it. Um. But, yeah, there's a lot of things that are like little hints that like that's how George does things too, is he won't just yeah. tell you. He'll just give you like five different hints and be like, hey, piece well, it he together, doesn't guys. give us a chance to question or gives us a reason to question this one either. Like we have no reason to question the mother or the father of Alisane, and that's what makes it like weirder is so when somebody brings it up, I'm like, why are we co-? like no like not Alisane, sorry, Alyssa. Um yeah. because like we are pitched in fire and blood because it's a book of propaganda that even though they had all these quarrels and hated each other for multiple decades, <laughs> they are the greatest king and queen and that they loved each other and they have the best romance, even though they have a couple quarrels. <laughs> they yeah. like, so we're pitched of this beautiful romance between these brother and sister. God, I hate George. And <laughs> <laughs> so because I'm reading this propaganda book, I'm not going to, think that at all the whole time right. i'm thinking no they love each other what are you talking about they're like the best and then i think it's preston jacobs it's like whoever like if you think they're the best remember they have multiple quarrels like she moves out a few times you know twice yeah. i think but yeah 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 and that would be very george to like have his history book written from the bias perspective be like yeah they were perfect when they were very clearly not yeah like, they fought all the time. What are you talking about? <laughs> but George, but, George R. R. Martin, notable fan of marriage. <laughs> <laughs> like how well, people who write about the Reagans leave out uh, Nancy's reputation before oh, she met Ronnie. We always got to go political. <laughs> <laughs> it's I, uh, not political. It is not political to say that Nancy Reagan was the gluck gluck queen of Hollywood. Oh, okay? come on. There's nothing political about that statement. <laughs> Oh, isn't it gok gok? Anyways, I uh <laughs> are you saying that Queen Alice Depends on the Alice. technique. Um uh, that's what I call her good queen, am I right? Um no, I uh <laughs> no 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 um I think the fact that he lets her into the council is the coolest thing about their entire re- relationship of um mm. the small mm. council had the smaller council and the smaller council is Jaharis, Alice and Barth. Like they actually ran the kingdom. And it, the fact that he let his queen actually have way more power than others, that's like the really like, okay, this is why we like uh, Jaharis and Alisane. Yeah, well, and also Alisane got her name, like the good queen from like helping out like the common folk. So yeah, yeah. Like, uh, nothing the, to do uh, with her marriage, you know, it was just because like she told the Northern Lords to stop first knighting the heck out of all of the small folk and the small yeah. folk were like, thanks for that one. That that's been going on for <laughs> well, a thousand years too many. No, yeah. the small folk are like, thanks for that. And the Boltons are like, well, how am I going to make kids? Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Surely armor, there must have been knows. the women's court must have accomplished more than that. Right. Quite a lot. Yeah. Well, that's the, that's the women's court that we talk about because that's the most important one, but she did that everywhere. You know, like she right. she didn't only yeah. have that one's women's courts. They did it a bunch. And, I want uh, that book, man. The, you the could, it could even be it could even be like a boring like just like somebody like keeping the minutes of these meetings just to know what what ha- what was said. She's like the Eleanor Roosevelt. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, they, I mean, they were related too, so that makes a regular sense. Tipper Gore. 
Yeah, well, t- oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't like Tipper Gore because I'm a Dead Kennedys fan. <laughs> she hated. I just did a video movie. about that time that uh, an American submarine surfaced too quickly and cut a Japanese research vessel in half. Oh my god! And there was a photograph <laughs> of Tipper. It was a VIP tour. And they had civilians at the controls to like show off and shit. And there was a photograph that came out of Tipper Gore sitting at the controls of a different VIP mission. And everyone was like, why are you guys letting civilians drive your submarines? <laughs> like, yeah. Oh my God. You're saying that women can't drive? <laughs> <laughs> no, hers was fine, actually. <laughs> it, was, it was these two CEOs that fucked uh, it up. Although it wasn't their fault. They just, just did, re- they just turned the dial. I just remember the video of like Tipper Gore uh, debating uh, Jello Oh, Biafra yeah, the and, hearings, and, uh, the music hearings. Yeah, yep. It, but it's like Tipper Gore is on a show with, with Jello Bia- Biafra and freaking Ice T. <laughs> and it's like, man, the 80s were nuts. <laughs> like, <laughs> this is great. <laughs> and she's like, all right, well, should we start with your song, Killing the Poor, or your song, Cop Killer? <laughs> it's like, all right, <laughs> you guys have to fight uphill. <laughs> but of course, you know, Ice-T and Jello are really well-read and really smart, and they immediately start like, okay, let's explain what being an artist yeah. is. Like, <laughs> like, Or yeah. also like, oh, you want to give us a platform to explain what we were talking about in our art? Okay, we'll talk about yeah. it this on a larger platform <laughs> yeah yeah not? no that's great and they totally I like frank that. zappa's congressional testimony a lot oh my god i gotta go and check that out what did he do oh it's so good no he just it was for um i believe it was for the the rating system that they were trying to put out although it might have been oh. older uh he was just incredibly articulate and like tore them Dude, down piece by piece zappa was nice. a genius <laughs> oh yeah zappa was a genius <laughs> I, love I remember my dad being like, he's like, he's the weirdest dude who never did drugs. Yeah. Uh, like, like him and Ted Nugent were like classic straight edges who were just fucking insane on their own. Yeah. But, well, but Zappa was always cogent. Zappa, like, it had to inspire so much drug use. <laughs> and he, didn't, he didn't do any drugs. I mean, What's he named the- his kid Moon Unit. So <laughs> yeah. you know, there was something going on. Uh, yeah, I love the the early prog rock like Zappa and uh, and Yes and some mm. other really good seventies like before Rush made it nerdy <laughs> before before Rush went and messed it all up. Um, you know, I was in my twenties before I realized it was prog p o r g and not prog p r a g u e rock. <laughs> Are you telling me that Zappa's from Prague? <laughs> no, I thought Russian it was just rock. like a style that originated yeah. there. Oh my god, yeah, that's funny. Yeah, Tim Gore. Uh, that's funny. All right, we started with A plus A equals A, and we went to Tipper Gore. <laughs> I, this whole, like, the last little tangents, I'm just reminded of the Sam Onella line, uh, the past was a different country. <laughs> <It's fun. laughs> Dude, I was re-watching, like, like and tradition is earlier. peer pressure from dead people. So, <laughs> yes. in the, yes. the jackass final, or um, forgotten tapes, or, like, um, or hidden tapes, it was, like, a season they did, like, 2009 you know like way way after the first ones and it was just old stuff they didn't want to show back then and they literally have to say like these were filmed when the social norms were different (laughs) i think i remember that disclaimer yeah i need that disclaimer on all my old videos (laughs) (laughs) like all right that word was still okay okay right (laughs) yeah it just meant something different that uh, uh that that video that almost got me expelled from high school would need that disclaimer these days just being like oh, look yeah. back in the day a little <laughs> over 10 years ago this was fine to say it, it wasn't remember, but it was fi- more fine than it is now <laughs> i remember me like uh defending using a word i wouldn't use in any context now saying, no, no, I'm using it in the Louis C.K. way. And I'm like, see, not even my defense is going to work anymore. <laughs> like, oh, that no, defense yeah. is bad. <laughs> even my defense got canceled. <laughs> Dang it. I, uh, I'll use, like, like, I'll use the C word, but only to refer to men. <laughs> All right. There you go. Uh, 
Oh man! Just, I feel like using it. I feel like using it to go. insult a woman is lazy. All right, did the math, and if, if I'm right, Alyssa Targaryen's father being Arlick Stark means that she that Danny is two point three four percent Stark. Um. Well, yeah, because after the unworthy, they all stopped doing the incest thing again until Ares made it cool again. Oh really? Yeah, 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 totes. Uh, so huh. Aegon, Aegon the Third was uh, was a Valarian, uh, married Valarian, and then um, nothing came from his kids. And then Viserys, wait, who married into? Oh, sorry, sorry who married into? Up. Who married into Dorne to bring them into the kingdom? I'll, I'll, I'll get there. I'll get there. Okay. I, and here we'll we'll start all the way. Here we we can do this. Really yeah, quick. yeah, yeah. I got it all in my head. So Aegon married a Targaryen. So now we're one hundred percent Targaryen. We'll count the new bloods. And then Aene is marrying a Valarian. Here comes Valarians. Okay, so then it was, after that, it was their kids who made eventually Viserys, the other Viserys. So, um, so it went, sorry, Jaehaerys, Jaehaerys and Alysanne, which is Targaryen, Targaryen, and then uh, um, Viserys and Emma, Aaron. So here comes an Aaron who was also half Targaryen. Okay, so now we got an Aaron in here. And then their kids made... <laughs> None of the blood gets introduced until Aegon, uh, until Viserys II, who his kid is Aegon IV. So, so Aegon IV married... Um, no, no, sorry. Viserys II had Aegon IV with somebody from Lys, I want to say, or Tyrosh. So we got some SO stuff going on there. Then Aegon the Fourth, um, his kid is with his sister for Darren the Second, and Darren the Second married a Dornish lady. So now we got some Dornish. So uh, the bloodline doesn't move past there until Makar, who is the fourth son, and his wife is a Dane. Dane. Yep. And then. Um, his son is then of uh, um, Aegon the Unlikely, who marries a Blackwood. So now we're moving in some Blackwood, and then to a Targaryen. Then I think it's just Targaryen. I don't know who Jaehaerys the Second's wife is, so I'm messing that up. And then his kids are Ares the Mad King and his sister. So no adding there. So yeah, so we don't get any Dondarrion, but we get Blackwood Dane. Aaron, Essos, and Valerian and Targaryen. Holy crap, I can't believe I did all that. Uh, who did Jaehaerys the second marry? I'm going to find that out. Are know. you guys still awake? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can't believe I did that off the top of my head. I need a hobby. A different hobby. <laughs> I'm not good at the Targaryen family wheel. It took me a long time to, to nail it down. So, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, no, that's, uh, that's interesting. Like if, oh, also someone in the chat asked, do you think the Valyrians got the power to control dragons from the children? And if they mean the children of the forest, I'd say probably not because no. they were separate when they were actually good at controlling the dragons. And then they've just become worse and worse at it throughout the years. I uh, I think that that's just some t Valerian stuff, or yeah, that's like you know stuff from old Valeria. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, they may be using similar magic that to what the children of the forest tapped into, oh. but like I don't think they learned it from the children. Yeah, um, Shira Targaryen. So yeah, she um, Jaehaerys married a Targaryen too. So the only yeah. Shira I have room in my heart for is Sea Star. Yeah, because Amok just nailed that art. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Yep. <laughs> Don't worry. I know. Oh. <laughs> Spe speaking of Shira Sea Star, she also had the, the two different color eyes, which yep. you brought up. Um, but uh, it also reminded me, too, like when we were talking about, um, uh, duh, I'm blanking on the name now, the guy, Melee's the Monstrous. His original, like, 
in the in the cut versions of Maylee's the monstrous story, it was like there was more emphasis, and maybe this was in Tyrion's actual chapters. I can't even remember at this point, but there was more emphasis on the fact that he was monstrous because of like the the lump twin on his like yeah neck or whatever you're talking about how he was going to sacrifice his kid in one of the chapters yeah yeah yeah. Yeah. um could that thing tell the future like the one from uh uh total recall no (laughs) would they call that the (laughs) clato yeah i couldn't remember his name clatel clat yeah yeah no there's a whole rick and morty episode about uh morty becoming a a clato and (laughs) and they meet all these other people with fake clatos i forgot Uh, about that yeah no it's but uh, but where I was going with this is Tyrion also has the mismatched eyes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the whole, like, fusing of, like, the chimera... Like, the, the I, I think there might be some hinting at the whole idea of Tyrion being a chimera with the whole, like, bringing up Maelys the Monstrous in his chapters. And I don't mm. know if this is a thing that George is actually going to go with or if he's decided to just cut it and make Tyrion a full-on Lannister. But, like, in the original drafts, there was, like, him thinking a lot about fire and burning things, and he was originally going to burn Winterfell. Mm-hmm. And there's, like, the whole, like, idea that Maelys the Monstrous, like, absorbed his twin. If Tyrion was, like, twin, like, two two fetuses, right? One was Tywin, one was Ares's, and then they absorbed into one person, making Tyrion a chimera. Uh. Like, it makes them both Tyrion's dad, which is, like, the weirdest thing, but it's, like, also kind of weirdly, like, hinted at a lot by George. Imagine if Maylee's shoulder came out first, so technically it was the firstborn. All right, you got it? (laughs) I I got it. I got it for you. I just solved all this for you, Michael. Yeah. Because I hope you know that most of me having you on these streams is I just hope that I can, um, uh, I can give you inspiration for a video for so theories. i can get another meaty shout out yeah, yeah. um but <laughs> but no um Tyrion is the time traveling fetus from may May-Lee- may neck you're welcome <laughs> you're welcome no there that's it go. he died and then he got a second life and he finally is like huh, no i'm just well, me or this time he just immediately <laughs> absorbs he's like no i'm gonna win the fight this time and absorbs the other fetus all he has is the weird eye color that's it yeah um, well i I was going to say, I do yeah. think, uh, oh my God, Nick Grimes, do you think Maylee's his brother <laughs> approved of what Maylee's is up to? <laughs> Dude, can you stop killing your cousins? Shut <laughs> up! <laughs> um, oh, no, I was going to say, um, as much as like thematic and storyline, like making Tyrion a bad guy, giving him um giving him valerian blood giving him targaryen blood is like fun and stuff and and the, oh he's got two different color eyes and he has dragon dreams and he loves dragons and all this stuff it ruins him and tywin's relationship so damn much because the whole no i'm you writ small is like one of the best lines and one of the best chapters in the freaking what book. if yeah what if he is <sighs> what if he is a, a mix of tywin and Ares's like but it makes all the like no you hate me for no reason you jerk yeah, is like the whole point in the in no he needs like no let's just clearly that, that is, Jamie yeah. and Cersei are are the mad king's kids that makes it so much better because then Jamie I, kills his own dad and it gives a reason for Cersei getting all turned on when she burns things and the whole incest thing. That's the thing is both of them are theories that in different ways I kind of like and in other I like, ways I, I hate. like the twins being Targaryens way more than Ty- or Tyrion yeah. being Targaryen. It Me would too. also be very, very hilarious because it would mean that like other than the few years that Robert was on the Iron Throne, it's just incest Targaryens the entire time right. because Joffrey is also a Targaryen at that point. <laughs> so, so Christy, like, I love you, but Oberyn's like 10. <laughs> <laughs> like he shows up and meets baby like Tyrion. Oberyn, yeah, Oberyn started young. Yeah. Oberyn started young. He does start young. You know if that. you do the math, Obara was born when he's like 13. <laughs> Dude, I did the math. Um, because I just did Sans Tanks videos. But no, Oberyn can't be his dad because the first time he ever goes to Castle Rock, Tyrion's already born. Yeah. <laughs> like Unless you're gonna go time travel and you know, all right, man, cool. Seriously, stars everybody's mom. I was on Reddit 
I was on Reddit, I was when, the on original, Reddit. when the original Tyrion was a time traveling fetus thing was posted. <laughs> And I thought that that was a joke, like 110%. Dude, it, and, none of it's a joke. <laughs> and, like, I didn't read the whole thing, so maybe it wasn't. I, like, skimmed it. I'm like, oh, this is a funny joke. And then, like, years later, people still keep freaking bringing it up as though it's, like, a thing that – I think it started, like, Flat Earth, where a bunch of people were like, you can't prove me wrong. Ha, 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 ha. What a funny joke I'm doing about how you yeah. can't prove me wrong. And then it's and somebody then believes now, it. like 20 years later, there's actual like flat earthers everywhere <laughs> that are like, no, no, no. Like this ironclad argument, guys, it's it's real. Well, dude, That's I remember hard. back when like I was on 4chan and all the racist stuff was just a joke. And then it became not a joke. <laughs> and then I was like, oh, yeah. I don't belong in here anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wait, I had wait, joined just... the uh, <laughs> Flat Earth funny. Society back in like 1998 when you had to join by <laughs> mail and every every single member that i knew was just a troll we were yeah. all just we all just thought yeah. it was funny shit and then that's, all that's how it like, started no, yeah. real. oh shoot sort no, of like I, the first or, person yeah. ever to argue it to me i i got physical with i pushed him i was running the fight <laughs> and and because i i was using logic i know what was i thinking but like i was like all right man when I drop my phone, it falls. And the reason has to do with the fact that the earth is is round and it's dense and it's spinning. Okay, so if it's flat and the sun is actually smaller than it and the moon is just inside this disc, right? Then why is my phone dropping? Yeah. And he went, well, because it weighs. It has weight. And I went, well, the, uh, the most <laughs> recent like, argument, you. the most recent argument <laughs> I've heard on that one is up. that yeah, Earth is actually accelerating upwards yeah, accelerating at 9.8 upwards. meters per yep. second per second. Yeah, yeah, I was told that. Yeah, I learned yeah. that one afterwards. But no, the first <laughs> time when he's like, well, because well they invented wait. it afterwards. I like I, I had to just shove him. I was like, let's fight. No, this is done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that's what people want. They want to get they want to piss you off and get physical. Yeah. <sighs> But that wasn't that wasn't thirty five year old Mark. That was like twenty six year old Mark, and he'll throw down. You know, like, you don't give a shit. Um, yeah. But yeah, I think it was more I, like twenty five. I, I also felt that I thought uh, the original like Euron is Dario post was a was a joke, but that one was actually serious. A lot and, of people like, took that. A lot of yeah. people really believe that one. Uh, All Shift Access came out saying like. Like he feels bad because he gave that more credence than he should have in his original video. And he's like, if this is, he feels like that's why a lot of people now take it really serious. And he's like, I feel like I, like I pushed this theory further and gave it way more credence than it deserves. And it, and I think he does. Like yeah. I, um, when I first didn't quite understand the timelines of the books, and just like looking at the chapters, like, oh, there is like a really big gap, but no, the feast and dance take take place at the same time like there's no right. way that doesn't mean they're not working together like yeah. like dario working for euron makes way more sense he is a pirate he calls it the storm crows like there's a right. lot of symbolism in between them um right. but them being the same person i don't buy also, Benjen got added into that as a, as a joke that I also <laughs> think grew into, if we're speaking of theories that were 100% jokes, that eventually became things that some people actually took seriously. The Ben, ben Dario Euron. Oh, theory. yeah. No, so I, I, don't if think... I, I need yeah. to just thank um, Glidus for Tyrek as a horse, because okay. that is now the stand-in for the theory that no one actually believes that we can pretend we all believe. No, like, if what? anyone actually starts believing that Tyrek is a horse, we are like, all right, we went too far. Let's blow the yeah. whole fandom <laughs> up and rebuild. <laughs> like, let's nuke the but fandom. But we can also use that metric in the future, because up until now, we don't know how long a fandom can go between books before it implodes. Once we, were, we reach that threshold, we're going to have that data point. breaking the limit point. every single day. Well, one could say <laughs> it did explode. <laughs> Like yeah, season that. eight. Season eight was a bit of an implosion. Oh, I just I hate mean, that. 
that. An implosion of a different type, I would say. I just we're hate picking that up I the remnant to. now. I it's hard enough to pitch five books to people, but when they're like, "Yeah, but the book or the show," I'm like, "Shut up! <laughs> I don't want to yeah. hear it." <laughs> they like didn't the show do it, did though. The show did three of the books and then gave up and did their own thing, and that's well, why it was terrible. <laughs> I'll get into conversations with people who who are just show watchers, and I'll I'll pitch, and they're like. Yeah, but you know, when I get to the part that this happens, I'm like, no, no, no. Remember, the book dies with John. They're like, okay, for like four seasons back. I'm like, yeah, yeah. it's like four seasons back. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sorry about it. Uh, uh, yeah, he does have a hook nose. Yeah. Um, Dario Kettle Black uh, confirmed. Um, my my Kettle Black videos. I I learned that hook noses were a really big deal. <laughs> like, <laughs> It's the kettle black notes. Um, um April I brings do. up or, or what are you gonna say? No, no, go I ahead. Was, I was just gonna say April brings up cats an example of a character changing in the text right in front of us. And like it just makes me think of a video I want to do at some point pretty soon, where it's like these are things, these are plot twists that happened in the book that if we had had like a cutoff and then 10 years to wait before these twists happen. Y'all would not believe the theory oh, when absolutely. someone's like, like, um, Mance was secretly spared, and the guy who was screaming, No, no, don't burn me, I'm not the king beyond the wall, wasn't really Mance. If we had had 10 years to wait for that reveal, no one would have believed it. If Arya had gotten an axe to the back of the head at the end of her red wedding chapter, people online would be sitting there going, There's no way she survived. Copium, cope. There's no uh, way her whole okay. family. You want another you one? Arya survived. Yeah, yeah. Give me more. Yeah, I no, I got, like, I got one more. Yeah. Theon died in Clash. Yes, Clash, Theon. dude. Yeah. You know how far back Clash was, dude? Like, yeah. Uh, freaking uh, Clinton was in his first administration <laughs> in Clash. <laughs> like he hasn't yeah. even been impeached yet. Okay, yeah. no president has been impeached since Johnson in Clash. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> All yeah. right, no, I think I think no Nixon was ever impeached. He just resigned. Um, yeah. So yeah, so like Andrew Jack Johnson was the last guy to be impeached when Theon died, yeah. and then it's not until Dance that we get Reek. A lot of people right. forget, like because because yeah. the book or the show ruined it for us because we never yeah. lose Theon. We see Theon get tortured into Reek. We don't right. get that. We don't see him until fucking Dance. <laughs> that's yeah. so long <laughs> yeah and so like this that's why i'm sitting here like guys there are gonna be things that happen that like the hive mind of like reddit theories has not figured out yet there are gonna be things that yeah. happen that piss people off yeah but and there's also like, gonna be reveals that are so shallow yes, that we're gonna be like yes. boo Yes, well, that's what's gonna. Yes, that's yeah. what's gonna happen people are gonna be freaking mad because we're gonna when the next find book out, comes out. R yeah. plus L equals J. And it's like, yeah. well, that's so lame. Well, it's only lame <laughs> because we've moved on to yeah. freaking B plus L equals N. And <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, that's right. Some people Legend have tried to say next, that one yeah. of the reasons it's taking so long is because he actually used some of the things from the TV show. And when he saw how badly it was received, he decided to change them. So now I'm thinking, though, if, let's that, say that yeah. that's true. Imagine if he changes the whole R plus L equals J just because it was like the most popular fan theory. I think he's I mean, basically and it was in the show. I think he's basically said he won't do that. Like when he was asked about certain things, he's like, if you wrote the whole book acting as though the butler did it, and then you change it later because people figured out the butler did it, it'll ruin the book. Yeah. But like on yeah. more minor things, I do think like the, the one that I think that was received terribly in the show that I think he's the most likely to change if I had to like guess it would be Jamie's story. Oh, absolutely. Because like, mm -hmm. because I, I read Jamie's uh, show story and like if it was handled well and set up properly, it is a story of addiction and then relapse. He gets free from Cersei and then he relapses and freaking overdoses on Cersei. And I it's a sad really story. If he but relapses like, in the book, 
I'm going to be a mad person. Everyone hates it. And so yeah. that's one where I think he could actually change it and be like, well, you know, I might change Jamie's relapse story. But, like, I do kind of think most of what we saw for the major characters was George's ending. And Jamie has had one freaking action that has been anti-Cersei. He's, like, ignoring her a little bit more, and he burns a letter at the end of the last book. And everyone's like, yes, our boy Jamie is on his path to being free from Cersei. Because that's what everyone wants okay. for Jamie. All right, you're underselling it. Okay, he gets I... over her before he leaves. When yeah, he turns I mean, her fair. down, she tries to bang him to get her away, and he's like, get out of here, sis. And then he's yeah, like, fine, fair. send me away. Like, he gets over her before he leaves. Fair and enough, then he yeah. burns the I love you, I love you, I love you chat or um page. But yeah. the split happens in in King's Landing before he leaves. That's fair. The the main point And I think like, he's about to learn that he can get it somewhere else. <laughs> well Let's I don't hope. think it was ever about getting it, for one. Um Let, Well, he uh, said that he's been faithful to her. Yeah, he's 100%. Yeah. So it could just be as simple as I don't think tripping Jamie's into somebody really, else's bed. I don't think he's much of a sexual being right. at all, really. Like, no. In a, in a, there's a lot of characters who make decisions based off their, their you know, uh, libido. Me being one of them. <laughs> What's up, guys? Just, but but he's <laughs> definitely not one of them. It, yeah, it's just like in the show, it was so poorly set up. That it's like, if this didn't come from George R. R. Martin, why the hell would they have done that with Jamie in the end? Like, mm -hmm. it, it was one of those things where it's like, it it was a square peg in a round hole because they had they were told, you have a square peg at the end of Jamie's story. Yeah. And they didn't want to make a square hole by the end of the story. So they just shoved it in there anyway. It, and it was like... It gets me so mad. If it came from <laughs> George... Because, like, it's so reasonable for Jamie's character to be like, okay, this guy was this way for 30 years. He had like a year where he was no longer this way. And then he relapsed like that, that kind of tracks better with Jamie's character. And there's like the foreshadowing of the Valen car. Mm -hmm. And there's the whole, like we That's went and we came into this to world together. Or kill Susie. Yeah. I think he might end up going with that um, in the end, but it's still like, the show's version of it, if if it was better done and it was like Jamie relapsed, it's still a sad ending and it's not the ending anyone would want for Jamie, but it would make more sense of him just being like, yeah, Brienne, I'm hateful too. Like, I'm going back. It's like, if that was handled well, you could kind of view it as a relapse and an overdose. But I think he might change that one because it's not... All right. I, I gotta, really I gotta talk to Christy here. The yeah. idea wasn't the math. The math wasn't what. All right, I was wrong when I said uh, he was ten because I wasn't doing any math. Six, Sixteen or not, he is literally stated the first time he goes to Castle the Rock is after he was already born. That was that's I think my he states, whole. I think he explicitly states that's the first time he met Tyrion. Yeah, and well, no, and he says the first time he met them, like because he's like I, I don't know. Maybe I have to go back. I don't. <laughs> I don't buy that the reason why Tyrion has different color either. eyes is that he but. has two sperms because that's not actually how it works. Um, you can't <laughs> impregnate somebody twice. <laughs> you just when, like when confused, cats. Though, man. Cats can't. Yeah, I know, there's but, two, but if there's two I eggs. Cannot... Yeah, really? that's what it, I've that's always the heard. You can't. Okay. Uh, the theory is it's Maley's the monstrous style that they just absorb into one. Yeah, I know, but the, but. Like you're gonna, so now you're telling me that Tywin is 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 double teaming with with somebody else, and they they, Aries, they mix Aries. their batter in the same day. That ain't gonna happen, man. Tywin uh, just, is not gonna in, take in sixteen year old Oberyn to take team his cousin. It ain't gonna no, happen. No, it, it would have been Ares. <laughs> And then Tywin sleeps with her in the same like week, and she has two eggs because I'm, I'm getting argued over in right now, but yeah, yeah, no, over in. <laughs> I'm sorry, I love you, Kirsty, but I don't see the over in being Tyrion's dad as a thing. Uh, um, like he doesn't, he's he doesn't have any hints of being Dornish. In no appearance, as far as I'm aware, but no, I'm Targaryen aware. half Lannister could be. 
But all right, uh, I feel <laughs> I feel I feel like we're we're going on along, and I think I need to play some fighting games. Uh, yeah, works for me. We made I I didn't even realize like like we stopped talking about the topic an hour and like 40 minutes ago. <laughs> like, almost two hours ago. I want to say a big thank you to everybody who's still in the chat. You guys are the best. Um, April has just been going off. You're the awesome. Just boom, 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 boom. Talking about alternate realities all happening at the same time. Fantastic stuff. I, and, um, and I'm sorry if I have to dismiss the Oberyn and Tyrion thing. I'm not saying that you're wrong. I'm saying that I'm not an easy sell ever for a theory, and it's going to take longer than that. Um, it takes me a long time to actually agree with one of them. Uh, oh, yeah, and Captain finally arrived as I'm doing our <laughs> long goodbye. Um, Michael, do you have anything you want to talk about? Uh, and uh, Russ, do you have anything you want to talk about before we get out of here? Just, uh, I've been streaming live on both uh, Twitch and TikTok lately. Video game content. Hitman, Far Cry, Ooh. Destroy All Humans, Quake. Nice. Destroy All Humans. Holy crap. The original, right. not the remaster. Yeah, yeah, I assumed. <laughs> I know you, so I assume. Um, Michael, besides a video coming out uh, at the same time as mine on Saturday, what else you got going on? I still have to make my video for Saturday, so I hope I get one done tomorrow. <laughs> I'm, I'm running like, right up against that procrastination wall. I'm like seven I, or eight weeks ahead right now for three I, videos. I will a have day. a video <laughs> coming out. I, I've been able to get it done on time to get one out every Saturday for a while. I hope to keep that up. Um, Do it. I, I think I will. Um, so probably one coming out Saturday, if not within a day or two after that. Every weekend I'll have a video. Um, so it's been Saturday every day, but no, I, I don't have anything else really to shout out. Okay. Well, um, thank you guys for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed Dorn and then us talking about us in high school and then us arguing about theory. <laughs> and that was the whole show. <laughs> so, that's what the people come here for. That's what, yeah. that's what everyone tunes in for. I don't know, man. That middle tangent, I'm like, we haven't talked about it. I might fire for like 40 minutes. <laughs> the people we actually know. gained. We gained more viewers at that point. At our peak, I think we had 17. Yeah. And then we were down to nine. And then just before now, we were at 11. So yeah. we, got, we, we gained viewers from that. Um, the people can hear about ice and fire theories from a lot of places. Only we exactly. can talk about how we were almost <laughs> expelled from our various <laughs> high schools. They want to. So. They want to hear the nerd lore. Well, I do. Yeah. You know, we. Op I often have to think about like what, 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 why don't I make polished, nice, beautiful videos? And it's like, well, because you guys all do. I don't need to, <laughs> I don't need to do that crap. <laughs> like, if you want like a really good polished video, watch All Shift X. If you want to hear a really good theory, watch Michael. We want to hear just me nerd out about how, like, you know, uh, how great of a character Shipmouth is. Well, then, hey, man, I'm your guy. Um, but, <laughs> all right. Um, talk to you guys later. Thank you again. And, um, yeah, peace. Bye, everybody.